Well, first off, I think we're going to start the recording, but also I think that live service games are going to continue to become more and more the norm. I don't want them to, to be clear, but I think that's kind of the path things are going to take, right? Um, but I think at some point, I don't know when exactly, you know, if it'll be within the next 20 years or if it'll be after that. I think at some point, though, gamers are going to get fed up with a hundred live service games releasing a year, you know? Because it's like, it's just impossible to play that many games, right? Because the thing with live service games is gamers have to kind of, like, dedicate the majority of their time to that one game if they want to continue to be competitive at it. You know, like, if you look at, like, Destiny or any MMO or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, that's how you have to play it. And obviously, there's a limited number of gamers in the world, so if there's a hundred live service games coming out every year, you can't each, every single one of those can't have that, you know, hundred million player base. There's just not enough gamers to consistently play them. So I see live service becoming more and more popular and eventually hitting a tipping point where live service kind of fails, not necessarily because companies want them to, but because they have no choice to, right? They become unprofitable from the sheer number of them that are being released. That's kind of the future I see. I think VR will also become more and more popular, um, whether it's AR or VR, hard to, hard to say, but I do think in the long run, some mix of VR, AR is gonna become more, more and more popular, you know? Specifically, like, uh, with the like with the apple one and you can kind of do it with the oculus quest 2 and whatnot as well where like they have the cameras on the outside so like you can see the real world interact with the real world but it can also just turn that off and then have complete vr experiences you know i think it'll be a mix of vr ar like that one headset where you can do both experiences if you want to stuff like that but yeah sadly i see live action becoming more and more the norm which sucks ass but you know, as long as you know, companies like your Bethesda's and uh, your Final Fantasies, I mean, they're not a company, but yeah. <laughs> as long as we still get top-notch single-player experiences, then uh, it'll be okay. I am... Have mercy? Oh, he actually has deckhands here? I didn't expect there to be anybody here, to be honest with you. Nate, what do you think the future of gaming will be? Torgo, get the fuck out of the way! Jesus Christ. I'm waiting for that first, uh... VR MMO to hit, man. And take over the world, you know? I guess technically, like, he still needs Jill to be alive, right? Like, he can't have Jill dying. But I guess technically there's nothing stopping him from killing Joshua. Because we already have the powers of the Phoenix in us, so, like... Yeah, man, I've been... <laughs> I've been fantasizing about a, like, basically a survival. You know, survival games, the modern day sense of, like, survival games weren't really a thing when I was a kid, but that's essentially what I've been fantasizing about since I was a child, but with Pokemon, you know? Like, a, an MMO, but where you collect Pokemon and then you use those Pokemon to help you do things, like build homes and, and craft weapons and shit and uh run shops and whatnot you know what i mean like just just basically an experience where it's just pokemon man like you just live in the pokemon universe like <laughs> i've basically been been fantasizing about an mmo of that for ever and it's amazing to me that the pokemon company hasn't done something along those lines yet also this guy's a dick Did you 
will have a lot of what's currently available now just to expand upon. Aaron and Vera will become better and even bigger plays. Yeah, I mean, I think there's going to be more changes than that, though. You know what I mean? Because, like, streaming is definitely becoming a bigger and bigger thing as more and more people get reliable, fast internet connections. Okay, he can break through that. Good to know. Um, and, and digital is forever becoming more popular option for people. I'm not a big fan of digital games, but you can't deny the fact that more and more gamers are buying digital. Uh, so like, I, I, I think there's definitely going to be some pretty, pretty large changes in the gaming space. But I don't think it's going to be like a massive change, you know what I mean? Like, I think it's more or less going to be what it, what, damn it, dude, fuck this attack. More or less what we have now. Because, I mean, if you think about the games industry over the past, oh, God, over the past 20 years, it really hasn't changed that much outside of, you know, digital games and streaming becoming a thing. But neither one of those things are the norm yet. I think it's just going to be like a gradual change towards those things becoming more the norm and the way we game today being less of the norm, honestly. I can't see shit. Oh, good, he's dead missing one damn class to graduate this semester. I had to email someone and be like, yo, I want to graduate this semester. Let me substitute it. No response yet on that. Bruh. Had an MRI at like 8 in the morning, so gross. Yes. <laughs> Very gross, dude. Fuck that. 8 in the morning. That sounds terrible. Sorry, it works. So no, no, no. You're good, man. No worries. People have lives. I've always understood that. I hope your uh, sister's okay, though. That the MRI showed good things, not bad things. Or at the very least showed something so that they can deal with it. This might become the more used option. I feel physical would be cut down to special edition releases. I'm hoping that's not the case. And honestly, like, I don't think physical is going to completely die in the next 20 years. Will it get cut all the way down to, like, special editions only? Fuck, I hope not, dude. <laughs> but you might be right about that. I could see that being a thing. I mean, but the problem is you have companies like like Xbox, right? Xbox kind of seems to want that future. But then you have companies like Nintendo and Sony that don't so much want that future, it seems. You know, like, Sony made a all digital console this time around um but at least at the store i work at we never actually carried the all digital version of the console you know we've only ever carried the one version the the physical the one with the disk drive um sony doesn't seem to push their digital library as hard as like xbox does although they're definitely working towards that sort of thing so i don't know I, I hope we still have regular game releases physically, but I guess I wouldn't be surprised if you're you're right and it ends up being special edition only for physical. Um, so I, I can't help but wonder a little bit what Nintendo would think about that. Because Nintendo seems pretty set on physical stuff you know they've never really put good work into making their digital libraries accessible Clive, how did you I'll explain later Pat. can you walk out of here I can <laughs> And still Phoenix. Are you not the dominant of fire? 
I see naught before me but a guttering flame. Barnabas be pissed, yo. Looks bad. Ship about to get cut in half, bro. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't, to be honest with you. Just like slice it right in half. We found something Odin's blade can't cut. We weren't able to stop it. Oh, God. Oh, damn, boy. That is a big rift in the water. Jesus Christ. Uh... <laughs> Bruh. That ship is fucked. <laughs> How the hell do they make it out of that one, dude? Wait, what the fuck? I could have swore I turned my TV off. Mid is the best. Mid's all right. <laughs> I don't dislike mid. Are we at the bottom of the ocean? Is there a permanent rift cut in the ocean? What is this? Bro, why is that water not coming back down? Another one of his lackeys, or... Nope, it's him. Hi, Barnabas. Nice to see you, my guy. You. What did you do to Joshua? The Phoenix? Oh, I expect he will survive. This consciousness in which you coil your feeble souls is grown thick with desperation. And thus has my master turned to my blade. The world will soon be painted in black. And all that live shall gather in death's autumn wake. Somebody got the gay up, dude. Of this misery. Not if we destroy the last of the mother crystals and restore balance to the world. Come. Do you truly think it's so simple? The blight is inevitable. Not even the Almighty might stop its endless march. Your efforts will avail us naught. Naught, that is, but suffering. You must embrace the truth, Mythos. Accept your place with the Lord. Keep it. As long as there's a chance, there's a choice. Ever led astray by your blind resolve. I like Barnabas as a villain, dude. Too bad he's not like... I like him more than I like Ultima, honestly. <laughs> now, it is time you learn the inevitability of your divine fate. However much it may hurt. Get as far away as you can. 
Clive. No. Trust me, Jill. Honestly, I feel like they didn't need Ultima <laughs> in the game, man. They could have just used Barnabas. Barnabas got everything you need for a good villain. Oh, you bastard. In the short time since our last meeting, you have grown much. Uh, it is a vessel. I fear my lord will still find you. Bro, are you cutting up Torgal? What you mad at Torgal for? What the fuck he do? He teleports, but fuck it. Might as well use the tornado. Damn you. Teleporting around constantly, dude. Makes you really hard to hit, you know? Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't like this, Mr. Krabs. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> I can't deal that much damage to him. He moves around too fucking quick, dude. Oh my god. You really gotta do some damage too. To get this iron flash to stop. Bruh, I'm not gonna stop it. Yeah, I can't I can't deal enough damage to stop it. Uh I don't think I have any stone flesh shit. Stone skin, that's it. Well we fucked boys. You would yield so soon. Never. Life. <laughs> Was it possible for us to stop that? Or are they just trying to show us that we're much weaker than him? Like dragging you ever further from your purpose. And what is my purpose? Mythos. Who are we? What are the dominance? The breath of the creator still warm on our lips. We carry his light that we might guide the masses in his name. We are but mighty acts of God. We are more than that. You would be nothing without what he has granted you. The power we wield is his, and yet every time we draw upon it, it wears away at our very being. It breaks us, it unmakes us, that its immaculate aspect might reveal itself. The icon. It is too much for even his chosen few. Apart from you, Mythos. You wield the might of many, yet your body does not answer for its avarice. What are you saying? What I am saying... ...is that we dominance are a means to an end. We were created for you, that you might drink deep of our strength and thereby fulfill your divine purpose. Which is... to feed 
as you would know, could you only look beyond the walls of your prison of self-regard. As long as you choose to ignore this, you shall never penetrate my defenses. Still, you may take solace in the fact that you are not alone in your plight. The chains of volition shackle all of mankind, but there is yet cause to rejoice. For the Lord, in his mercy, has taken pity on his flawed creations, and shall see them restored to their proper forms. And what exactly would that be? Why loyal servants to <laughs> Yes, God. it is. Yes, it is. No. Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men, like you and me. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are... Divine. You mean to turn everyone Akashic? Not turn, mm. Ethos. Turn back. That's his end goal? For too long has mankind been led astray by their clamorous wills. It is time they return to a world of quiet equality, where they might once more know salvation. Salvation? And abandon everything we hold dear. We don't need your salvation. So this dude's we'll fanatic to the max, man. We'll like... do it on our own terms. Not yours. And not your gods. With every defiant expression of your will, the tighter the chains of consciousness become. But perhaps that fact may be put to use. Destroying the world, I understand. Turning the world Akashic? That's fucking weird, dude. <laughs> the faster it binds you to the remaining dominance, oh, no. the stronger your hunger will become. Until it leads you back to the only answer there ever was. May have not oh, I'm sorry, Noodle. Never really watched the show, but obviously you care about it, so I'm sorry. All the same. is not far. I could freeze a path. You're in no fit state. Probably not, but I can try. <laughs> Don't look back. <laughs> <laughs> Life bested. <laughs> the fucking every time we take down a creature that comes up. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> Instead of like, you know, name of hunt bested or boss bested or whatever, fucking Clive bested, dude. That's great. That's <laughs> That's good. That was a good moment. I like that. Also, I'm using my purple controller today. It's about to die, though, so I'm probably going to have to switch back to the white one at some point. I like the purple. Apparently, Pee Wee Herman did, too. That sucks. Wasn't he, like, old, though? I mean, it sucks anytime anybody passes away. Don't get me wrong, but... The Enterprise was clear of the well, we any fell. decent person passes away. It, it sucks when anyway. Uh, I mean, there's certain people, you know. <laughs> Battling cancer. That's rough. He's no longer in pain, at the very least. This is the second time Barnabas has bested me. I'm powerless against him. I don't know. And maybe there really I mean, is nothing else for it but to give yourself to his master. They're naked, but they're probably all wet. They're probably just drying off and warming up. So I don't know. Only you won't do that. The Clive I know would never do that. So you believe? But do you really know me? 
life, you fucking dick. Shut up. If what Barnaby said was true, uh. I'm more monster than man. Oh, that sucks, love. I burn away the things that make me who I am. Do you, though? Think of what you've used that power for. Of all the people you've saved. It doesn't matter how or by whom it was granted. Only how you choose to use it. And you've chosen to use it for good, haven't you? I've also used it to kill. What if that's my purpose? What if it's all I'm good for? <laughs> I'd rather have revenge live than fucking self-loathing Clive, dude. Love Final Fantasy VII, but we had enough self-loathing with Cloud. Boy I grew up with. Always so eager to save everyone around you, and yet always so low. Because you failed to realize the one that needed saving most of all. You, Clive. You. You never once took the time to save yourself. Myself. I think I might be beyond saving. No one is beyond saving, provided they want to be saved. You fight to survive. And you survive so that you may protect those you love. It's what you do. What you've always done. I know you're not about to change. So I'm going to help you. To give you what you need to protect us all. Sorry, it's a very touching moment, but <laughs> I just <laughs> I just imagine them. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> what you need to protect us all and then just Are fucks the sure? dude. Like that's what you needed. <laughs> Sure, if this is what you really want, yes, Clive. Yes, it is. <laughs> Just take my power from me, though. Like, <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh, I'm dying. My sins, my pain, my sorrow. I see now that they are all a part of me. Oh. Diamond dust, motherfucker! <laughs> she better not die. She's not gonna die. We don't completely take their power. We just take a piece of it. They can get it back. the dirty, right? I promise you, Jill. We will find a way to escape this fate. Find a way to 
save each other. For some reason, as soon as he said escape this fate, I just imagined one of their songs like <laughs> just blaring all of a sudden. <laughs> we might one day look upon the moon again together. And I promise you, Clive, that I will be there. No matter what you must become. I know. No, she's hurt. I mean, she's slowly dying. I smell could bring me so but I don't joy. think she's dying, like, right this moment or anything. I don't think. Hey! Jokes aside, very touching scene. But I just... <laughs> oh. She's gonna die faster now, though? I don't think so. It's Honestly, the more she uses her powers, the faster she dies, right? So if anything, by us taking a piece of her power and therefore suppressing them for a little while, probably help her live longer. You want to send up a flare or something there, Clive? Let them know you're here. I'm pretty sure they did. The game never shows any, like, actual sex acts, though. They went rated mature for this one, but not that mature. Still had to get that pass in countries like Australia, you know, where they're more strict on shit. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking they did too. <laughs> they finally made it official. Do we pursue him? No. Our paths will cross again soon enough. Whether we like it or not. Besides. There is something we must do first. Of course. Drake's spine. The last mother crystal. The Einherja is at the bottom of the sea. Walud won't dare move on storm without her. But they know we're coming now. We'll need a plan. And a damn good one at that. Then let's go home and find one. Ash will have to wait. I mean, we're already here, though. <laughs> we could just... No, fuck, whatever. That just means more side quests. That's why I'm salty, dude. <laughs> like... Son of a bitch. It's right there. It's only half a continent away. Or not continent. Half a island away? I don't know. I mean, this continent's pretty small, too. If you consider, honestly, like, the game is kind of weird, right? Because if you look at the map, this is the crystal all the way north. This is the crystal all the way south, whichever one of these you want to look at, right? It only takes a handful of minutes to run from one side to the other. And that's all the way from down here to all the way up here. So that's, what, about half the northern half? Or not even. That's about a third, if you don't consider this little, like, thing here. From here to here, that's like a third. That's like a third. And then that's like a third, right? Like, <laughs> so you can run across this entire continent over the course of like an hour. <laughs> like, ah, can I clear these requests? The reward request queue? No, sadly, because that's how I keep track of all of my, uh, the votes on games. I still need to add them in. 
if that's what you're talking about. I appreciate the ask, though, but yeah, no, I, I'm just behind on it because we've been playing nothing but Final Fantasy 16 recently. If there's any, like, uh... Reward? You mean the review? Wait, what? Mid says Odin split the sea in two. She's always been partial to a tall tale. But it's tall. I'm not sure what you tall. mean. I struggle to believe it myself. I I'm see confused. your uncle isn't with you. He stayed with the Enterprise. After our brush with the Einherja, she was in urgent need of repair. And my uncle knows a shipwright in Randalar. We're to join him there when we're ready to sail for Ash. You sure that's wise? Last I heard, the place was still overrun with a Kashyyyk. Show me we can deal with that it. isn't true. Ultima's plague is spreading. We're Kashyyyk right never stopped us before. Way. We've done our best to shore up the hideaway. I doubt a few planks will stop what's coming. Still, we'll keep at it. Every little helps, I suppose. Let's hope so. Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? I don't remember why, but that song was stuck in my head the other day, and now I want to watch Scooby Doo. Shiva's iconic feet, Cold Snack, can be used to swiftly move left and right, forward or back, to either dodge attacks or close in on an enemy. So it's just a better version of the Phoenix teleport. Clavis claimed a portion of the icon Shiva's essence. Yeah. Allows access to several new iconic abilities, such as Ice Age. Mm, how fancy. It can it. freeze, too? That's cool. So, like, whenever you run across enemies with it or something, it freezes them. So, honestly, if that's the case, I kind of think I want to replace Phoenix. Ah. <sighs> And Aerial Blast? Oh, that's a weird mix. Hold on. <laughs> so, okay. This is, I, okay. So I want Shiva here. It doesn't have Phoenix's range. Even after you upgrade it? I'm going to try it anyways, but. And then... I want I guess ignition on or not ignition because I don't care about aerial blast I'm fine getting rid of that mesmerize draws them toward class oh so probably again not having the range of it but that kind of does what Garuda's thing does uh, Rhyme, Colossal Ice Crystal, that deals continuous damage. That's kind of neat. Okay, we know for sure, though, we want Diamond Dust. And we want that mastered. We know that for sure. Increase perf permafrost duration. Just duration, though. Okay, so... And then with him, I need Ignition mastered if it's not already. It is. Let me to close it. So we want Shiva with Ignition. And no, we want Diamond Dust. And then Garuda. No, you know what? We'll have... Hmm. <laughs> hmm. can't believe I didn't have that mastered or upgraded. I must have, like, unupgraded at some point or something. Is there anything? Because I would really like to master that. Because I wouldn't mind keeping that. Yeah, we're not holding this or using this now, so I can get those points back. Anything here except for pile drive? Yeah, because we're not using that. 
into rebirth, master. Damn it, dude, I keep pressing circle. So then here. Like that? Is that how I want it set up? Maybe? I don't know. We're going to try it. It's weird, but we're going to try it. Or, again, it's weird, but I could put diamond dust here just to keep things kind of in the same order. Flames of Rebirth there. <laughs> diamond dust there. It's fucking stupid. It's the stupidest shit. Okay, and then if I don't like hers, I can just change it back to Phoenix. And, but then keep these abilities on Garuda. I'm willing to get rid of Raging Fist, too. I kind of do want another big attack. Like, um... Okay, so we don't need this Master now. Oh, wait. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do, because it's on Shiva. Because I kind of want... you breeding again. Those old man eyes? That looks like old man eyes again. <laughs> Get to, yeah, old man eyes, nice. Because <laughs> I feel like... What is it? Giga Flare would be pretty good. Fire a massive beam of overcharge like that burns any enemy it hits. So I kind of want either that or Judgment Bolt. Since I'm purely wanting it for damage, I'm thinking Giga Flare. But I don't have the points for it. Hmm. <laughs> I think we're just going to roll with what we got right now. Oh, we don't use this. We don't need that. I completely forgot Magic Burst was even a thing, not gonna lie. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna roll with this for now, but I might switch out the punches on Titan with Giga Flare just for even more damage output during boss fights. Oh, I'm scared to look at you. How many do we got? Dive! Anything catch your eye? Oh, 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 fuck, dude. I was like, oh, okay, one in each. That's not bad. And then three. Fucking three, dude. God damn it. Always something in there. Oh, yeah, I didn't even look here. We got three here as well. At least three. Jesus Christ. Okay. God damn, it's gonna be another bad news then, did you? What bad news? About Dravosht. Blackthorn's old horn. With the forge and all that. Well anyway, the mines just down the road from there are spewing out ether like no one's business. And the village? Safe from the flood for now, but they've got other problems. A Kashik. Every creature in the area is either turned or on the way to turning, apparently. Zoltan and the others are living on borrowed time. They need help and quick. Doris sent a few curse At least to keep eight. Things, but there's only so much a couple At of scouts least. can do. Except get eaten. If something ain't done soon, the old place will be overrun. Sure. Let's let go happen. help. Didn't think you would. Damn it, dude. Does Black Hex side quests. <laughs> I can't so not do them, to man. You'd only do something stupid. I'm never going to come back and play the game again, no. so I got to play them. It's better this way. Yeah. Well, well, until like DLC comes out. Let's so be I'm honest, gonna... that's gonna happen. I'll see you in Travost. Yeah, I mean they're not like necessary or anything like that, but like this one gets you actual stuff for the game, apparently. Even weirder sci uh whatever, science gets you stuff. Like you get renown, which unlocks items and shit for you and new abilities and shit like so yeah i could technically skip them but it would feel wrong why set 
hospital for low-born chaff when oh she does change her clothes all the time doesn't she right here beneath our roof if Prince Dion cannot see my love for him then perhaps the Phoenix will bruh that lady just needs to chill Where are we going dungeon okay Don't tell me. You need more bomb ash. Oh no. We still got plenty of that left. I'm working on bringing another one of the chief's designs to life. This time, it's a new smelter. It's got a reverberatory hood over the top for additional thermo amplification and a system of reciprocal recirculatory regenerators that, that, um, let's just say it gets very blimmin' hot. A heck of a lot hotter than anything Blackthorn's got in his forge, that's for certain. Only Mithril engines get hotter, and you can't chuck ore in one of them and get met like the other end. <laughs> Bro, this Trouble dude's is, weird. <laughs> we won't be able to make out of any old rubbish, neither. We need the good stuff. And I hear you once helped Helena get her hands on exactly that. Any chance you could help me too? So we need some fallen pieces, I'm guessing. If it's for the good of the hideaway, I'd be happy to. Oh, it is. I promise you. So, what exactly is this good stuff you need me to find? Yep, We've fallen got a tech. Of examples here. Spherical echoes, we call them. Or fallen materials. So this smelter is similar to the Mithril engine in more ways than one. That's right. They're a bit like the thermal helms. Fallen ceramics deal with heat like nothing else, see? And what's more, they're directional. Transferring heat from the inside to the outside. But these things, they're all outside. If we line the hub with them, they'll reflect the heat right back into the furnace. Dude's weird We've as shit. as many as we can. And I know where we can get the rest. Watched over by their bigger, uglier cousins. So you want me to visit some ruins, destroy some echoes, and bring back the spheres they're guarding? That's it in a nutshell. Yeah, we're only three short, mind, and we know exactly where they are. There's one up Amber Way, in that ruin that they call Lost Plume, and another in the Silent South over in Dalmechia. Last one is in the ruins of Advent. Sounds a little psychotic about his work, man. <laughs> a little more than passionate. He's a little weird. He's got a couple of screws loose in his head for sure. So what? What's that actually gonna do for us? Like, <laughs> so the forge can get hotter. Does that mean what's his name can start making better weapons for us? Blackthorn? Can we read Miss Editor's story for us? Can the loss? Why is the chocobo keeper all the way up here, dude? Shouldn't you be down there by your chocobos? Have you tried Molly's lemon tarts? I've never had any. Oh, we got new craftables? Anything decent? What's that for, India? Ice brand. I mean, it's better. It last you a good while. Yup. We'll equip it. We still need the shit. Oh, fuck. I didn't even think of checking the hunt board. Because, yeah, we still need the stuff for the Ouroboros. That it? Who's awfully thin these days? Bro, the world's ending. Chill. I think you'll be okay with your thin stew. Captain Doris. I and the other curse breakers have grown concerned regarding the well-being of our captain. Despite the apparent unrest her recent investigations have visited upon her, Lady Doris refuses all offers of assistance. If it is not too much trouble, I would ask that you please speak with the captain and learn what troubles her so deeply. 
Sure, no why not? If Doris will confide in me, but I can speak to her at least. I don't even remember who that is, to be honest. But <laughs> we'll do it anyways. Fresh speed bean potion? What the fuck, dude? <laughs> who the fuck calls it speed bean potion? Oh, wait, nah, maybe there aren't any new hunts. It doesn't have a little symbol on it. I mean, I'm going to double check anyway since we're getting ready to go out, but... The rest of the hunts need to appear soon, though. We've got to be getting close to the end of the game at this point. Where are you? Can I help you, Sid? I'm looking for Doris. Is she here? I'm afraid not. She's at Martha's rest on a job. My job, actually. When she heard what the mission was, she insisted on going herself. <laughs> it's Alone. definitely funny. Did she? What was the mission? Following up on some new information. Once they'd settled in, the bearers you helped liberate in the Dragon's Airy were keen to talk about their imprisonment and about their captor. The slaver Cole's team were tracking when they were attacked by the beastmen. I'll go and find her. She's at Martha's rest, you say? If she's not moved on already, yes. I hope everything's all right. Why would Doris insist on going alone? Maybe Cole was right to be worried. Yeah, Nate, why don't you duel uh, Chocobo real quick? Let us know how it goes. Did I ever tell you about the time I journeyed through Southern Ash, Kubo? Through Orkish lands. Well, technically they're dead lands now, but the orcs don't seem to mind. They found a way to survive without mother crystals, just like we have, Kubo. Though it involves a good deal more cannibalism than here at the hideaway. At least I think it does. You don't happen to know what Molly puts in her brown, do you? <laughs> Jesus Christ. We've all been eating each other this entire time. Alright, onward then, out of this damn place, and <laughs> to everywhere, apparently. <laughs> Jesus Christ, okay, well, let's start here. Uh, this crystal actually looks closer. One of you gotta record it, man. We gotta see this duel. We need proof of who wins. This way, okay. It's diamond dust. I'm excited to see what diamond dust does, man. The only thing I don't like about Cold Snap is how long it takes to recover after using it. Oh, and if you just press circle once, it doesn't leave the little crystal thing behind that presumably does the freezing, but if you press it and press it again, then it drops the crystal. Ah, interesting. I still think it'll probably be better than the Phoenix one, though, just because it's useful for dodging out of the way of stuff quickly. It's not a bad attack, just in general. Ha I wonder how it does for... Whatchamacallit. For uh, Stagger. I've been told it's very, very good for Stagger, but... Master Duel have crossplay. I don't remember. It sounds like you're using PC. Oof. Big oof. Yeah, I don't know. Myself. Nate probably knows, but... Let's hope it does, man. I want to know how this duel goes. I'm rooting for you, Nate.
I feel like it should have crossplay, right? Like, why the hell wouldn't it? Have we traveled this path before? I don't think we've ever gone this way. Oh, that's not. <laughs> okay. It's going to take a second to get used to this shit. Because I thought we were doing diamond dust, man. <laughs> but <laughs> we weren't. Oh, shit. <laughs> I unequipped the puncher. I forgot to re-equip it. My bad. Re-equip that real quick before I forget. That was dumb. Uh, Raging Fist. Can that be upgraded? No, just Mastered, which just allows assignment to any icon, okay. There we go. Everything's set properly now. Bro, I don't remember this area like at all. I'm not going to lie. I'm sure we've been up here at some point, but... For spherical echoes. So... Are we just looking for the little sphere dudes to kill or just kill any of the fallen? There's a chest we missed somehow. Bull's horn braid. Yeah, probably not going to use that. I'm guessing we just got to kill these dudes over here then. Doesn't quite have the AoE I thought it would. Ow. Oh shit, this guy can be staggered. Son of a bitch. Now I'm mad I wasted it. Oh shit. We alive! Get Bigger dudes? Bro, that does so many more hits. I can't believe you spent this whole time with that unfucking upgraded like dumbasses that's a decent amount of stagger yeah it's not like an instant free stagger but it's pretty cool Right after Deadly Embrace, okay. 
So like get them half staggered so they're down and then deadly or yeah. <laughs> and then cold, not cold snap, whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> Diamond dust, Jesus Christ. Uh, Martha's arrest, Martha's arrest. Side quest first. Oh, it should be somewhere nearby. Assuming she's still here. I hope if I remembered what the hell she looked like, but I don't. Hey, not at you? all. Breath of light, breath of ice. Hmm. Hmm. There you go. Curious about, normally I don't use those things, well. but whichever one makes diamond dust better might be worth it. We do it have to lose to so fast lately, something to put it there though, like defense or hurts. potion efficiency or something. It's been a pleasure, Doris. Just like old times. I'll give your offer some thought, my lady. How goes the investigation? Sid, what brings you to Martha's Rest? You. I heard you were out here on your own tracking our slaver. I trust you're being careful. Of course. And it had to be me. The bearers from the Dragon's Airy confirmed a long-held suspicion of mine that the slaver we've been tracking is an old acquaintance. She's no fool. If we'd come in force, she would have spotted us straight away, and then vanished without a trace. That was her just now, wasn't it? So, was it a fruitful reunion? I'd say so. She tried to recruit me. Seems her time in Rosaria is coming to an end. She's abducted bearers from across the region and is looking to smuggle them back into Sambrek. After her brush with those beastmen on the road to Northreach, she hired herself an Imperial escort, which she wants me to join. She's dangerous, Sid, but I think I can stop her. Then I'm going with you. I'll take care of the escort. You can see the bearers to safety. Where are they? The Baum Arches, soon to break camp. You go on ahead. I'll follow once I've sent word back to the hideaway. Again, I ask, doesn't the scar on your face make it pretty obvious that you're a bearer yourself? Like, with all the spies and shit they got running around in this world, somebody surely knows that there's an operation that can get rid of the mark, like, the brand. Ah, Clive. I was just about to send for you. I'd like you to take something to Sir Wade up in Eastpool. Seeds for planting. Thought it was about time they started growing their own food. I'll keep providing them with whatever they need in the meantime, of course. But if East Pool's going to survive, it's got to be able to fend for itself. As of those poor bearers. They've lived their whole lives in servitude, but now they're their own masters. Small wonder they ain't got the foggiest out to provide for themselves. So it's up to us to teach them. And if you're wondering why you, well, the Wagoneers taking supplies up that way have been coming back with more and more reports of Akashic around the village of late. So Wade's Fair enough. Brave face on it. I was actually I wondering why us, like. Worry. And if he's likely to share those concerns with anyone, it's you. Okay. All right. Thanks. Wouldn't ask if I didn't have to. There. That should be enough to keep him in Gazal Greens for a few years at least. Gazal Greens. Not the most mouth-watering crop, I'll admit. But they're hardy, they grow fast, and they fill a hole. Better that than something that'll wither away at first frost. And chocobos love them too, which is no small thing. When I say all of us need to pull together to get East Pool back on its feet, I mean all of us. They ain't exactly succulent, but cook them right, and they're just about bearable. Just about. I'll take your word for it. Anyway, Sir Wade'll know what to do with them. And if he don't, well... I'll go up there and show him myself. 
I'm sure you will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we gotta go to East Pool, kill some Akashic, and whatever the other thing was. I don't even remember. Wait. Seriously? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> that's that's where we just fucking came from. We should have come to Martha's Rest first. Bro, that's annoying as shit. Whatever. We're gonna deal with East Pool first, then we'll go back down there. Um Okay, we actually gotta go into town. Assuming we're looking for Sir Wade. Which is right there. Hello, Sir Wade. Ah. Lord Rossfield. What brings you to Eastpool? A delivery from Martha. Just your charming good looks, you know? Stopped in to say hello. These are Gizal green seats. Martha's keen to cut the apron strings, then, is she? I jest, of course. You see, I had thought we might be able to revive the old wheat fields, but they'd long since gone to seed, only without the seeds. Martha was hoping you might be able to show the bearers how to plant and tend these, so that they'll be able to fend for themselves. That's not a bad idea. These bearers had only recently escaped their bonds before we brought them here. They know little of freedom, of providing for themselves and their loved ones. Unless we teach them how to live like free men, I fear that all we have achieved in bringing them here is to exchange one master for another. Not that myself and the Guardians have been the best example to them so far, subsisting almost entirely on Martha's charity as we do. How it's do they not know how to do, like, to for crops and water and, and like. you know, like, they were slaves after all. Unfortunately, we've been a little too busy of late to focus on much besides bolstering our defenses. There have been alarming reports of... Like, surely they were forced to plant the fields and fetch water and shit, even without magic. Time at all. I thought we'd have more time. Gather the men in the square. Send to the rest for reinforcements. Yes, Sir Wade. The Horde. A Kashek, A veritable legion of them. They've been seen prowling around the northern reaches for a while now. We don't have the numbers to hold back a swarm that size. I had hoped to build a perimeter wall so that myself and the guardians Don't worry might be able about to it. defend the village, <laughs> okay. but now you're out sure. of time. Precisely. It's like the water if all over the again. From the rest arrive before they do. We may just scrape through, but I fear that's rather an enormous if. What if you could call on reinforcements from Eastpool? You mean the bearers? We brought them here so they might live, not die, fighting for their lives. So wait. You said you lack men to defend the village. Are the bearers not men? Do they not wish to see Eastpool saved? Though they may not be trained soldiers like your guardians, what help they are able to offer could still prove the difference between victory and defeat. You're right, my lord. I will appeal to them. The least you could do is just ask, like, hey, do any of you want to help fight to save it? Because if you don't, the place may die. Like, you know, give them the right to choose whether they want to or not. Just don't force them into combat. My friends, I humbly beg your aid. We guardians are few and our enemies many. But I swear we can defeat them with you at our side. You would send us to the slaughter. To serve as bait for those fiends so that you and your men might be spared. And to think we trusted you. Jesus Christ. Say what you will. A home is not worth dying for. But it is worth fighting for. Sir Wade fights to give you lot a chance. Just like I do. Just like Sid does. We all wanted to give you a home where you could be free. And you got one, didn't you? This place, East Pool. 
This is your village. Your home. And if you don't fight to protect what's yours, you'll lose it. You know I'm right. This world wants to take everything from you. Everything. Your homes, your freedom, your very lives. So then, are you going to stand by and let that happen to you? Are you going to accept fate like good little brand? I've never watched the X Men. I've only ever watched the original Yu Gi Oh! That's it. Or will you fight like free men and women? Really handed her a frying pan to rally everyone? <laughs> kind of handed her like a sword or something? <laughs> Son of a bitch, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Give me a sword. I never dreamt I'd have a home of my own. And now that I have, I don't want to lose it. I will protect what's mine, or die trying. We all will. Free men and women, fighting together. For Eastpool! For Eastpool! Jax is good, don't know Thank much about you, any of the other Martha. ones. Don't mention it. I've seen a couple episodes of like the other thing. ones, and I just had no idea what was going on. Fight. Gladly. Yeah, see, when I was a kid, the only ones... The only one that was played regularly was the original. Well, if it was numbers you were lacking, you certainly won't be now. By the time nice GX came out, I was already kind of outgrown it. Oh, I just love the sound of my own voice. Lord Rossfield, my lady, we're ready. So what's the plan of action? We'll divide our forces into several small detachments, each made up of guardians, bearers, and guards from the rest. These will position themselves at strategic points around the village. Upon engaging with the Akashic, each detachment will keep the creatures occupied as best they can, steadily retreating all the while. You're going to lure them into the village? I am. We will have neither the time nor the resources to treat the wounded, so injuries must be avoided at all costs. Instead, we will focus purely on defense at first. By coordinating our withdrawal through the use of messengers drawn from among the bearers, we will aim to have the swarm converge at a point of our choosing. With luck, that point will be the village square. The perfect place for our most able warriors to surround them and fall upon them. And for you and I to finish them off. A sound plan. But one that'll require a leader with a cool head and strong nerves to coordinate the retreat. I'd say you have both in abundance await. But you'll be needed. Please, leave the last of the fighting to me. Ha! And let you have all the glory. Sir Wade! They're here! Then you know what you must do. We work together. Everyone playing their part. Each shielding the other that no man might fall. That Eastpool might live on. For Rosaria! For Rosaria! We've no time to argue, my lord. I'll do as you ask. And I will do as you ask. Takes so damn long do our to get anything too, done. Eh? Right you are, Martha. Let's just get to it, y'all. Damn. GX is very similar to the original gameplay and such, where the others have a bunch of new stuff I don't get at all. <laughs> like Synchro and Link and such. Yeah, that was me, man. <laughs> I remember, like, I played a bit of Yu-Gi-Oh, the actual card game, not one of the uh, PC games. After, like, whatchamacallit came out. Uh, what's it called? <laughs> Fusion and shit like that. And, like, it wasn't un... It wasn't terrible. 
or anything, but yeah. It definitely wasn't what I was used to either. Uh, there we go. That should deal with y'all in the sky. Where the rest at? There you are. Hello. So when you put up the little ice crystal, you can change the way you dodge again. So you can like dodge forward and then to the left if you want to. Forward and then to the left. But you kind of got to know like right away what you're doing. Interesting. It seems to recharge relatively quickly too, which is nice. Compared to a lot of the other large moves. You're a dick. Alright, surely there's more than that, man. There's no way that was the Great Horde. Looks like that's the last of them. Lord Rossfield, change of plan. What is it? Owl from the rest. An Akashic curl's been sighted on Rhiannon's ride and is headed in their direction. Well, the better half of her guard is here. So wait, how many Akashic remain in East Pool? Hard to say. My men are still facing some resistance, but I think the worst is behind us. I could order a detachment or two to fall back and... No, let them finish the job. You stay here too, Sir Wade. Your men need you. I'll go after the curl. Join me only when East Pool is won. If you're sure, my lord. May the founder protect you. Again, need I remind you, we fight gods. <laughs> like, I think a curl's gonna be fine. Pretty sure we can handle it, my guy. Next one's mine. Might not know one end of a sword from another, bruh. How? <laughs> Just stab him with the pointy end. It's not that hard. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I am going the right way, right? Pretty sure. Yeah. Fuck you, Mr. Goblin. I hate running from enemies, dude. All right, you know what? Fuck it then. Wait, did he just? <laughs> I could have swore his health bar was empty, dude. And then he just kept on running and suddenly it just came back. <laughs> Must have been like outside of the zone he's allowed to fight in or something, but that was fucking weird. Alright, Mr. Curl, where are you? There he is. Look at the kitty. Such a pretty little kitty. Oh, 
Not bad, not bad. Damn it, I forgot about the stone. He's so close. There we go. And dead. All right. Back to East Pool. It's going to teleport us back. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. There's a stone there. Yeah, okay. It handled it for us. Lord Rossfield. The curl, is it? It's dead. Thank the founder for that. And for you, my lord. We were able to eradicate the rest of the horde. I have guardians posted around the village to keep watch for further attacks, but all seems quiet for now. I hesitate to say it, but I think it might be over. I think it might. Aid room, think you did it right? Why didn't you just join his room? Or whatever, because he sent you an ID earlier, right? Thank you. No, Sir Wade. It's us who should be thanking you. You brought us together. Showed us what it means to fight for what you hold dear. We never had nothing to call our own before. We didn't know what it meant to protect it. But now we do. We really do. Forgive us, uh, Sir Wade. Okay. You and your people saved us. And still we doubted you. But there's no doubt in my mind anymore. We're free men now, so we have to start acting like it. We have to fight to protect what's ours, to protect Eastpool. Now you're getting we it. Shall. We all shall. Together. This is our home. And if anyone or anything tries to take it away, they'll have us to answer to. Come on, then. Let's get to work. This village isn't going to rebuild itself. Look at them, taking care of themselves. So proud of them. They're not slaves anymore. No. They're Rosarians. Your father took pity on the bearer's plight. And I believe if he were still with us today, this is what he would have wanted. I believe you might be right. I shall remain here, my lord. And do what I can to help rebuild the village. After all, this is my home now, too. And I could hardly call myself an East Poolian if I didn't pull my weight. I think you'll find it's East Pudlian, Sir Wade. Pudlian? Well, you should be proud, all the same. I'll have to pull my weight, too. I can't have hmm. the rest getting outclassed. Speaking of which, I ought to be getting back. Can we continue to count on your support, Martha? Of course. And I'd be counting on yours, too. Us Rosarians have got to stick together, haven't we? Indeed we have. And Clive, come by the Golden Stables when you get the chance. I ain't paid you for delivering them seeds yet. All right. I will. I mean, <laughs> bruh, do we really need to collect payment just for carrying some seeds up here? Do you remember our very first mission together? Clearing the goblins from the Stillwind Marshes. And the Morble. Don't forget the Morble. I forget. Hm. 
There's one sight that I shall never forget. You, facing off against that giant morble. Not a trace of fear on your face. Since that day, there have been more than a few times when I felt like giving up. When the odds seemed so stacked in the enemy's favor, I thought I may as well just lay down my sword and surrender. But every time I would think back to the look in your eyes that day and remember what it means to be a shield. Know that whatever trials Eastpool may face, I shall never lose courage. Thanks to you. So wait. You have always been a true shield. I know that Eastpool, and indeed all of Rosaria, will be safe in your hands. Thank you, my lord. I know the rest of the world will be safe in yours. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do my best. I was about to say, yay, it's done, but I forgot we still got to go back and talk to Martha. <laughs> Hopefully she's not as long-winded as Sir Wade. Though, she admits she loves the sound of her own voice, so who knows. Look, Daddy. Shiny so brightly. Isn't Where the it fuck pretty? is it? There it is. What's shining so brightly? Is she talking about the crystal? Teleportation crystal thing? Must have been. Only thing shining around here. Hero returns. It's lucky you came by when you did, eh? Not only did my seeds get delivered, but you went and saved Eastpool and all. I just did what I could. And it's only right that you get rewarded for it. Take it before I change my mind. Thank you, Martha. So, Eastpool's finally back on its feet again. And a home to free bearers. Who'd have thought we'd see the day, eh? Well, it was hmm. your idea. I know that, but I never stopped to think what it would mean. Bearers in charge of themselves. Thinking for themselves. Working for themselves. Like your hideaway, but not even hidden away. Though I suppose the rest ain't much different nowadays. You know... Bearers living free like that reminds me of when I first met Sid. We don't need another trip down memory lane, damn it. That particular day. I take it you didn't always see eye to eye. What happened? Well, if you really want to know, I started doing what I do long before I met Sid. In fact, that's how I met him. Or at least how he came to meet me. He showed up at the stables one day, asking questions about who'd been buying up bearers. Founder knows what he thought I was doing with them. Running a hunt, poking around in their innards. Something awful, anyway. Me? I thought he was a new constable. Thought the game was up. But somehow, we both managed to work out what each other was about. And before I knew it, the cheeky arse was rattling on at me about how I was doing it all wrong. After all my hard work, pfft, told me I was giving them relief, but not freedom. That my bearers were still dying as slaves. Got right under my skin, it did. Told him if he didn't like it, he could bugger off and report me to the garrison. And do you know what he did? He smiled, and then he laughed. And then I did the same. We made a pact that day. That whenever one of us was in need, the other would always be there for him. And you were. Well, we both wanted the same thing. To make life better for bearers. Just like your dad. Do you know, I was born right around the time Elwyn became Archduke. Growing up, I saw how he tried to change things. He certainly didn't lack for ambition, that one. Indeed. But the loftier one's ambitions, the harder they are to achieve. Which is why those of us who follow in their footsteps need to finish what people like Sid and my father started. Suppose you're right, aye. And if we don't manage it, there's always them who come after us. Good thing we've got a few half-decent sorts waiting in the wings, eh? It's almost enough to give you a little bit of hope. Hmm. 
Just a little. Anyway, enough nattering. Better get back to work. Let's see about making everyone some dinner, shall we? The least the folks who saved Eastpool deserve is a hot meal. And you and me ain't gonna save the world on an empty stomach neither. That sounds like a wonderful idea. Dinner does sound good. I'm kind of hungry. I don't know what I'm... Oh, no. I know what I'm eating tonight. Pork fried rice. Completely forgot for a moment. That should be good. Martha's Rest Signboard. Another missive or whatever the fuck they're called. Memory, basically. All right. Now, back down to where we were when we first fucking came here. Because... <laughs> Uh, kind of want butter garlic noodles? I mean, it's going to be at least a couple hours before I end up making anything. So if you want to make some butter garlic noodles in the meantime, then by all means, love. This way. Butter garlic noodles do sound good, not going to lie. But we have that leftover rice and stuff, so... Oh, you haven't actually ate anything yet. God damn, dude. Didn't make anything for breakfast? Yeah, fuck all that, man. Get yourself something to eat. Make some noodles. Oh, <laughs> you ate some of your pretzels? I mean, that's something at least. Wait, is he not dead? Or is he not alive? Oh, it's the death blossoms. I thought it was another goblin. Like, why the fuck can't I reach the the blossoms, dude? Ah, uh, you did eat my garlic bread. So you're over here telling lies. Haven't eaten today? You had garlic bread. You had pretzels. You had ice cream. You've eaten all kinds of things today. All I had was three pieces of garlic toast with some ragu on it. And the little bowl of ice cream. No actual food? Good. What? <laughs> That's all real food. Well, it. okay. Pretzels are kind of snacky. And ice cream, I guess, also. And cheese and strawberries. One little piece of cheese She's and a coming. single strawberry. <laughs> Ready the bearers. We're leaving. Back to civilization, is it, Mom? With all haste, lest any of you lackwits start talking like these feckless bumpkins. I presume your men are ready. We've suffered too many delays as it is. Any more, and I'll be docking your pay. Uh, yes, Mom. Oh, but before you go, it appears we have company. Kill him. Bro, do you know me or something? Why would you just... Try automatically try to kill me like where's the where's the wizard there's the wizard Beach, that's why they try to kill you. That's just rude, dude. You know who says shit like that? Little Bayback Beaches. <laughs> you the last one? Oh, I thought Torkoal had you. I love how she's just standing over there, like not reacting at all while we kill all of her hired men. So much for your escort. <laughs> You'll forgive me for not avenging my men. I'm not the swordswoman I used to be. I surrender. Do with me as you wish. Ah, she Sid, did recognize us. Outlaw. Okay. Sid. Ah, Doris. I take it you're not here to rescue me from our brooding renegade. 
You know, I always wondered where you'd vanished to. But casting your lot with this criminal of all people. Better fighting for a cause than killing for coin. I'm sorry, Sid. I should have told you sooner. This woman, my former master, once trained bearer children to be weapons in service of the highest bidder. She raised me like a daughter, and I did terrible things to earn her favor. So It wasn't all terrible. Okay. Surely. We had our fun, too. You were always so eager to learn, and had such clever hands. All my other children took either to the blade or to the books. Always either or. But you proved yourself a master of both. That's why I kept you for my own. I fucked up? What'd you do? <laughs> How about it, my little dagger? Care to swear that blade to me again? I never swore my blade to you, nor will I ever. I fight for a higher cause. To liberate the bearers of this world. Farewell, master. Thank you for making me the weapon I am. You always were a righteous child. Perhaps that's the reason I loved you so. What do you want to do with her? I am not the killer she wanted me to be. Not anymore. And she no longer has friends in high places. The dame does, though. Her connections at the Imperial Court will see that justice is done. All right. If you're certain. I am. And thank you. For everything. Now, I better let these bearers know that they're safe. <laughs> what are you dancing for now, love? I should head back to the hideaway and put Cole's mind at ease. One down, 20 more to go. Two down, two down, and a fair bit more to go. Oh shit, we got teleported all the way back to the hideaway? That I didn't expect. I'm glad we saved that mission for last. Welcome back, Sid. Doris's message just At arrived. least from Rosaria. I hear you saved more bearers from being smuggled across the border. With any luck, they'll be joining us in the hideaway shortly. Oh, and Muleta. You don't need to worry about Doris anymore. I'd been hoping as much. She mentioned one or two things in her report. So the slaver we'd been chasing all these months was her former master. <laughs> Wish I'd known. She's been arrested, by the way, over in Sambrek. Went quietly, or so we're told. She won't be getting off lightly. The Empire may have no love for bearers, but it's none too fond of black market traders either. Can't have been easy for Doris. I'm sure it wasn't. But don't worry. Oh, look at that, love. Sure You're already right. back up to number two for the month. So. Suppose you should know, eh? You had quite the past yourself before you came here, or so I understand. Anyway, thanks again, Sid. Number two bitter. The curse breakers would be lost without Doris. And... You, of course. Keep up the good work, Cole. How much renown do we need for the next gift? I don't remember. Oh, really? I could have swore you were not on the chart before. I mean, if you want to get technical, you could probably beat his bits for the month. Sorry, I forgot you were low health. That was unnecessary. <laughs> What'd you do to him, man? <laughs> oh, my God. Got a feeling Chocobo's over here being a dick. I don't know if I believe his apology or not, though. Why? Layer view. 
you. Honestly surprised no more hunts yet, man. They must all be in Walud or something. But no, we haven't had the, the secret hunt in Dalmechia yet, have we? I'm pretty sure we still need to do that one. There should be at least one more. Are you Akashic Chocobos? No, you're Raptors. Oh no, don't go down this path. Okay. This way. Yes. Just keep running, just keep running. Looks like these guys are the ones we need to kill. This might take a while. Yeah. Bro, we missed. <laughs> How the fuck did we miss? There's a bug. Speaking of bugs, dude, when Noodle and I went to get ice cream today, we got out of the car and we're walking over to the ice cream stand, right? And uh, I see something in front of my glasses. It looks like a little piece of hair with some fuzz stuck on it or something. So I pull my, I take my glasses off, pull it off, and I got the, uh, the, the fuzz hair thing in my hand. And I'm looking at it, and I'm like, is that a fucking spider? And I'm like, no. No. And then it starts fucking crawling around, dude. It was like the tiniest fucking spider. I have no idea how the hell it got its web attached to my glasses. But, uh, <laughs> it was just chilling. It was a nice little guy. I just let it, uh, oh, I tried to get it to crawl off my hand onto the one of the posts that was there. But it ended up just jumping. <laughs> so, that worked. All right, to the veil. He's doing one the turn one super combo type decks. No, he would never. <laughs> He's toxic as shit in multiplayer games, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> he, uh, I don't know if you watched any of the videos he's posted, but like, he does that shit in fighting games constantly, in Tekken. What am I to do? My wards and I may soon be without a home. What's happened? The High Cardinal has descended from his lofty throne and taken up residence here in Northreach. The High Cardinal? Leader of the Council of Elders, second only to his radiance at the head of the Imperial government. So you want me to kill him? Those things still exist. Now he goes by his noble title, the Duke of Oriflam. And what does he want with Northridge? He wants to transform it into a military stronghold. A foundation upon which to build a new Sambrek. He's already secured the support of the various army remnants. With promises that they shall be afforded the respect they deserve in his empire. One built on the confiscated property of But yeah, the no, uh, jokes aside, the I knew Chocobo was going to do that to you, man. He admitted to me a week or two ago that uh, he had a match of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duelist where he fucking disconnected, or not disconnected, but timed out and was DQ'd <laughs> because his combo went so damn long. <laughs> and that's when I was telling him how you stopped playing the game because of people like him. And he thought it was funny. That's why he wanted to fucking play to you, dude. The Empire Philippe Conrad swore to serve and to improve the soldier's lot within it. The captain can offer them a regular supply of gruel and an occasional trip to the Vale to help them forget the terrors they face each day. The Duke offers them a vision of strength and safety. No. Any attempt to incite mutiny would cost Philippe the support of his men. If it did not cost him his life. But given the mood around town, mutiny may yet be unavoidable. The people have little appetite for further deprivation. 
Least of all when it serves only to elevate others. Who could blame them? Clive, would you appeal to the Duke on my behalf for your services to Northreach? You have the respect of the soldiers, and they will take you to his eminence if you ask them. And unlike Philippe, Play still, no bonds takes of loyalty to. prevent you from speaking your mind to the man. Well? Oh, sorry. Oh, try? fuck. I thought you uh, stopped fair, playing Master Duel and started I playing a different Yu-Gi-Oh game. I forget the name of the do. other one, but... Thank you, Clive. I remember you saying something about playing it Tell instead of then. Master Duel. Where will I find this Duke of Oriflam? In the garrison? One that I, I think it wasn't like a free one. It was a paid game or something. All right. Wish me luck. I may have met this Duke before at the remembrance ceremony. Let's hope I didn't make a strong impression. Oh, sorry about that. You're the dames man, aren't you? You got some business with the captain? No, actually. With the Duke. I was hoping I might be able to speak with him. We're under orders not to let any civilians pass. But you should be all right. His eminence has heard all about you and your heroics. Wait here. I'll go and ask. So, you are the sellsword who lent his aid to the garrison. The Empire owes you a debt, and I shall see it repaid. But tell me, is it wealth that you seek or favor? Neither, Your Eminence. I thought only to inquire about your plan to turn Northreach into a stronghold. Ah, I see. You are worried the expanded garrison will render your services redundant. Yet you needn't be. A proud fighting man like yourself shall always have a place here. Pride of place, in fact. For too long has the contribution of the noble soldier been underreckoned. But no more. For it is they who shall see the Holy Empire rebuilt. Beginning right here in Northreach. Working now? There we go. Why here, your eminence? The town has been fortunate enough to escape largely unscathed from the recent troubles. Her defenses are sound and her garrison well prepared. Which is more than can be said for Oriflam or Twinside. The Empire wants for a capital and I believe Northreach to be the perfect place. With Care Norvant as her citadel. Once we have seen to the refortification of both the town and the castle, we need only build a wall around both to create a city that would be the envy of the twins. Plans are already underway for the construction. Soon right. enough. These but what does this mean for the whorehouse? That That's all we no really care about. For the might of Sandbreck. I fear you underestimate how dangerous these creatures are, Your Eminence. Should they return in force, you will need all the people of Northreach to come together in defense of the town. Something they may be loath to do if they've been deprived of their worldly goods. The people will do as their leaders command. If Sandbreck is to be rebuilt, she will require a functioning government. One whose authority is beyond question. That is why this levy is necessary. So that any man who wishes to join the army might do so and be fed, outfitted, and paid as befits a defender of the Empire. <laughs> and yet there are those who persist in peddling the treasonous lie that I seek to steal from the people and drive them from their homes. I suspect they're afraid of losing what little they have left. Precisely. The common folk have little and less, 
and you mean to deprive them of even that? You would sow the seeds of your new empire in your own salted earth. Sabine, we have discussed this. Yes, and I told you then how putting the empire before her citizens would lead only to revolt. Without an empire, there are no citizens. And in yours, there will be only beggars. Is that what Griga wills for her people? That his wife. Do not take her name in vain, Sabine. I'll come back later. <laughs> the citizens revolt. I wonder what the people really think of the Duke's plan. Damn it, don't tell me we have to talk to the people. Why? Why do I care? <laughs> All we were supposed to do was talk to him and then go back to the whore mother and let her know what the hell is going on. Nobody said anything about talking to people. Alright. Hello, peddlers. What do you got? There were ghosts at the Not for sale. Just for word. <laughs> I don't fucking know. I heard the dame got an eye concert with the man. A question, if you don't mind. What do you think of the Duke of Oriflam? Mm, don't get me started. You build a life for yourself somewhere, earning for some noble to turn up and tell you you've got to hand it all over to him. If he thinks his name and his chains give him the right to empty our purses, he's in for a rude awakening. We'll do whatever it takes to keep what's ours. Whatever it takes. Sounds like the seeds of a revolt have already been planted, to be honest. If he continues with his plan, I don't think this town's going to be on the map for much longer. <laughs> Two sides are just going to end up killing each right other, there. dude. What is it you're after, sir? Just your opinion, actually. I wondered what you thought of the Duke of Oriflam. <laughs> oh, him. Not much. None of us traders do. It's thanks to nobles like him that we had to set up shop this side of the wall in the first place. Couldn't have the rabble getting any closer to the holy capital, could they? And now he's trying to drive us out completely, threatening to take everything we got from us if we don't clear off. If the dame said she wanted him run out of town, I'll be straight through that checkpoint tar bucket in hand. Is it the dame? Is she the one seeing the soul? Sowing the seeds of revolt? So what? I'm a little confused on what's actually happening here. So he wants to put up a wall, right? Wouldn't you want shops in the wall? Or if not, couldn't they just move their shops a little bit farther down that way? It's not like these are permanent structures anyways. These are little huts made of cloth and sticks. I mean, they shouldn't have to move. Don't get me wrong. I think they're in the right and he's in the wrong in this situation. But at the end of the day, couldn't they just set up their shops on the other side of the new wall? They would still be on the road to and from the capital. Like, there would still be a lot of people coming this way, you would imagine. I don't know. I understand why they're upset. I don't understand why they're that upset. Welcome, welcome. Do you have any orchestrians by any chance? I already I'll bought it. I'll be here okay. if you need me. I've been hearing a lot of talk about a certain duke. Nothing good, I'll wager. Going around acting like he owns the place. And with hardly a word to the dame. This is her town, not his. I take it you'd rather she was in charge. As far as I'm concerned, she still is. Just need his eminence to sod off back to Oriflam. Well, the people seem united enough. What about the soldiers? Hmm... The question is, would they be willing to speak against him even if they disagree with him? Because in one way or another, isn't he basically their boss? Like, Wait, this Excuse is just me, another townsperson. I wondered if you'd mind sharing your thoughts on the Duke of Oriflam. Well, <laughs> he's made a lot of enemies coming in the way he did. 
I mean, look around us. You can see the state the realm's in. The traders might not like having the screws put on them, but if they volunteered a few more of their hard-earned gill before things got bad, maybe they wouldn't have to. I think the Duke's got a point when he says rebuilding the Empire is the best way of making sure we're all protected. And if that means people who don't know one end of a sword from another have to make way for those who do, well, that's just how it goes. Can't we come to a compromise? <laughs> like, seriously though, man. I don't... Uh, whatever. I don't... I should just stop questioning it. That's what I should do. Just, <laughs> just talk to the people, let them do their thing. Whatever. You. You're the one who was talking to his enemies. GG's? On the dame's behalf, Here's yes. the real question. Who... Well, I mean, I assume Chocobo won. For but, was it another turn one 20 minute combo, or like... <laughs> what do you think of this plant? I'm a soldier, mate. Deck is adorable and deadly. What, what the do? fuck? Not the other way around. Listen, I've got nothing but respect for the dame. But I've got a family to look after. That's where my loyalties lie. Not with the town or the empire, but with my wife and children. If the Duke can get us some men and the equipment we need to fight off those blue skinned bastards, I don't care how he does it. Some of the voice acting in this game is hilarious to me, like that dude. Two turns, technically. <laughs> God damn it, dude. I hear the Duke of Oriflam plans to turn this town into some sort of fortress. Do you think that's a good idea? It's not for me to say. All I know is that unless the Emperor orders me otherwise, his eminence's word is law. Look. No one likes all these taxes and tariffs, but empires don't come for free. Once Sandbrack is back on her feet, we'll all reap the benefits. Hmm. Let's see what Philippe makes of all this. <laughs> why do we care? Who the fuck is Philippe and why do we need to speak to him? Jesus Christ. Where is good old Philippe? Is, he, is that? Ah, there he is. Captain, do you have a moment? Ah, he's the captain. Okay. For you, certainly. Clive, wasn't it? Thank you for last time. How can I help you? I wanted to ask you about the Duke of Oriflam. Do you intend to go along with his plan? But to tell you the truth, I'm in two minds. It's my sworn duty as a captain of the Imperial Army to obey his orders. But I can't say I agree with him. Philippe, I remember you saying that you became a soldier to protect the people you loved. The dame included. That's oh, right. that's right. He's the one that loves the dame. She doesn't agree with the Duke's orders either. Of course. She thinks they could turn Northreach apart. She's probably right. Thank you, Clive. I know what I need to do now. Protecting the people I love is what matters. Doesn't matter how. You gonna well, assassinate the fucking calls, Duke? <laughs> so I better go. Thanks again. Wait, you don't even have like a normal deck built, dude. <laughs> Just your bullshit deck. <laughs> it seems Philippe wants to talk to gay ass man. I expect Isabel will be pleased to hear that. Nothing else. It's hilarious. Wish we could run in town, run in town, run in town. I wish we could run in town so it didn't take so long. Ah, oh, Clive. How did you fare? Were you able to speak with the Duke? Decks are expensive. Like... Uh. Cash wise, or I've never actually played the game. I've had it downloaded before, but never actually like booted it up. So Northreach is to be a fortress after all. Well, it will certainly help to hold back the thralls. There's no denying that. 
Though I doubt it will come as much consolation to the townspeople whose worldly goods are confiscated to pay for it. They deserve to be heard, Clive. Time expensive though, or cash expensive? Duke means to build. Like, Certainly is it like the Pokemon TCG? Where there's nothing but time unless you buy real he packs, or like... On his to be sacrificed for the greater good. Needless to say, they themselves are of a different opinion, and would rather their destinies were in your hands. The soldiers, meanwhile... I'm assuming real cash. Orders. And not just because of the Duke's rank. That's what it sounds like from what you guys are saying. His vision. I thought as much. Had I sworn to protect Sambrek, I dare say I too would want nothing more than to see it rise from the ashes. Thank you for trying. But the battle is lost. It's one of the reasons why I really like the Pokemon TCG. Because there's no way to spend I real money on that game unless you buy code cards in real life, which, like, yeah. The lads I wished them well, oh, for real? But I owe it to those I love to call it a day. That'd be cool if it's true, Nate. Why? Because I realize you what can really pay, but they're still RNG. Okay, okay, Not okay. Not following okay. some nobleman's gotcha. orders for the sake of it. But protecting what I care about. Protecting Northreach. Do you I get don't know when those monsters will return. Any I'm structure decks for free? Like you do in Pokemon when TCG they do where they back, give you like six free structure decks? We need to stand together. All of us. And with you to lead us, my lady, I reckon we can do it. It was you who finally convinced me, Clive. There's no point following orders if they go against everything you believe. Indeed. All of us standing together. That has always been Northreach's best hope. And one which still lies within our grasp. Yeah, I was pleasantly we surprised that the, the Pokemon the ones like enemy. Like they're me. they're for probably sure not gonna I'm hold still. their own against, you know. Anything for you, my lady. I don't want to say professionally built together, decks, but extremely well built decks. But they're pretty the decent at the same time, like around the town. I fear his eminence you a lot. has loftier tasks in mind for the guard. Not at all. Can you use My those guest. cards from those Wouldn't decks to build your own? Because that's how they do it in the Pokemon TCG as well. Is like they just give you the cards and then like and have the preset decks that you yet. can use those cards in. Especially with men like you and Philippe to champion our cause. And then you're free to edit I them in any way you want afterwards. To work upon the Duke. Or use them in other decks, or that I might mix them together, or whatever. Hands. But I suspect I shall have to call upon your aid again. Ah, see, that Until part sucks. Then, Clive. Until then. Still, it doesn't sound like a bad game, though. And when I was younger, at least, I did prefer... Um, Pokemon, or I'm sorry, Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG to Pokemon TCG. I just switched to Pokemon because Noodle didn't really care for Yu-Gi-Oh! that much. But she was okay with playing Pokemon. And of course, being my girlfriend, it's, you know, i around her more than anyone else, so she's the easiest one to play with. Uh, I don't even know where I want to go. I guess... I'll go to Dravad or whatever first. Just because it's like right there. The crystal to deal with it. Tabor has a new mission. Son of a bitch, dude. <laughs> Get a crap load free. I haven't spent a dime yet. And you can alter from what I can tell. I guess you can. I haven't messed with it too much. Huh. What about your girlfriend? I was just saying that she's a baby back beach. And I love her. So no, I was, I was talking about how you didn't really care for Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, but you were okay with playing the Pokemon TCG. That's all. Meh Pokemon? Yeah, that's <laughs> that's what I was saying, love. Clive! You're here! And the Akashic. Mostly off to the north still. But I spoke to Doris's scouts and it turns out things are worse than I thought. There's swarms of them out there. Told old Snotty to be ready to seal the north gate. That should buy us some time if we need it. Enough for the villagers to barricade themselves inside their homes, at least. Well done. Welcome back, Sid. I'd never have guessed, you know. Not if August hadn't let slip. Who'd have thought that the savior of Dravoged 
would turn out to be the realm's most infamous outlaw. God damn it, August. What are you doing, dude? I am. Thought you could sneak off without me, did you? Blackthorn. Oh, what are you doing here? One of the scouts couldn't keep his voice down. Unlike my best mate who didn't think I deserved to know. So then, how long's it been? Long enough for us two to turn into a pair of old codgers, I see. That your idea of an apology? Prick. Don't listen to him. You only did what you thought was best. For the village and that. I did, yeah. But that ain't the whole of it. Vulcan. Oh, man, I should just go make a sandwich or something. Maybe take a little break. We'll come back when they're done talking, you know? The best blacksmith in Travosht, barring himself, of course. Bloody stupid tradition, in my opinion. If someone's got talent, you should let them practice their craft, not ask them to settle petty feuds and barter for grain. Our master wasted half his life that way. I wasn't about to let that happen to me. So you're wasting half of mine instead. You're what Dravos needed. Under me and my precious ideals, this place wouldn't have lasted a year. So I left to devote myself to the work and spare you lot the consequences. I may be a selfish prick, but I only did what I felt I had to. What you had to do was your duty. Even if it meant we all starved? Enough. This is no time for bickering. You can finish beating each other up once Dravosh is safe. Fine. I've said my piece anyway. Yeah. So have I. Sorry, Clive. I shouldn't have stuck my nose in. Sure you enough think? time as it is. Still, give us a mo, would you? I need to get my head straight before any of them Akashic try to bite it off. Again with the Yeah. We can't afford to waste any more time. Right you are. Might be worth having one last word with the scouts though. Don't want any nasty surprises, do we? Oh, and Blackford. You and Zoltan might be better off staying inside the Akashic on the move. How close are they? Within sight of the walls. And there are more coming up from the mines. What was I saying about nasty surprises? They'll wash right over us if we stay out in the open. We're pulling back behind the gates. Good idea. Get yourselves inside, but keep your weapons handy. Understood. I'm prepared to fight if I have to. Still a bit well, confused about where all the Akashic's coming from. The, the ones on the inside, surface... Your men to barricade the gates. I accepted no, the idea that maybe here. the rains... We're filled with ether from Altamar or something like that. You know? But how is it getting down in the mines? I'm going out there. Start work on the gate as soon as I've left. I'll give you as much time as I can. And if they kill you? You evacuate. But it won't come to that. I promise. <laughs> You'd better be right. Take good care of Dravosh till I get back. Leave it to me. And give those things what for, yeah? No, we haven't done in a really long time. Turn to fucking Ifrit, man. <laughs> it's been a while. I understand it would be kind of unfair to fight regular beasts as Ifrit, but... It would be nice to, you know, <laughs> get to use them every once in a while. More of them? Not surprised. Stay 
All the way over there, what the fuck? Oh, you bastard. <laughs> I had plenty of time to see him coming, but like, god damn it. Akashic. Is that it? Sounds like a no, dog. Not. <laughs> what the fuck? You're new. You're not even Akashic, are you? You don't look it. No. Canyon Chimera. Nice. So he's got ice and fire. One from each head of the, the dragon thingy. Oh, wrong thing. That's what I meant to do. Bad, not too bad. Right into him. Yeah, after trying it a couple times, I might go back to the teleport. It's not bad, the Shiva one, but it's not amazing either. Fuck it. Tank it. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I was like, ha we just fly over it. What are you going to do now, bitch? And then we fell right into it. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'm surprised we haven't come across chimeras before. Like, if they exist. Like as a hunt or something? Oh, the question is... Did I miss any? Get back, the entire town's just destroyed. Just like, oh. I slew as many as I could. As many as I could, he says. The old bleeding lot more like it. Well, almost. Only almost. Yeah, one or two did try to sneak over the wall. But we got the bastards, don't you worry. Good. Though you do know, more will come in time. In time, yeah. But we can think about them later. Let's get you back inside. Hopefully we get something decent for this. Sid, <laughs> you're even more fearsome than your reputation. <laughs> Enough to give those Akashic monsters nightmares. I almost felt sorry for the wretched things. But mostly, I felt grateful. Dravost won't forget what you did today. I'm afraid I've only delayed the inevitable. There's no getting rid of that ether flood. Meaning that any living thing which stumbles into those mines will end up clawing at your walls again. Couldn't you just block the off the mines then? If it does, well, I hate to say. I know it's part of your livelihood, but it's not like you can go in there either, right now. That may be, but we're staying just the same. With the ether floods springing up all over, it's no less safe than anywhere, and more importantly, it's our home. We'll fortify the gates to the north. And I'll see that they're guarded day and night. All right. Then we'll give you a hand shoring up those defenses. As for you, Blackthorn, that's twice you've turned up when Dravosh needed you. So, thanks. I shouldn't have stayed away so long. And I shouldn't have left without talking it over with you first. <laughs> Too bloody right you shouldn't. Though I doubt I'd have listened, I always envied you. How you made everything look so easy when, for me, it was anything but. You leaving gave me the perfect excuse to hate you. And from that day on, I never once stopped to wonder what it would have been like if you'd stayed. But what you said earlier, it was true. You'd have been the death of this place. Finally, something we can agree on. I hope you see the sense of it eventually. You kept this place alive. Alive, perhaps. Wealthy even, but... Dravosh isn't what it once was. Our work used to be the pride of Dalmechia. Now, we churn out the same rubbish day after day because it's easy and turns a profit. It's not about the craft anymore. <laughs> I wouldn't send my sons to war wearing the shit most of our smiths are making. I've kept working, honing my skills, trying to lead by example, but... No one sees the point. The average castle apprentice has as much passion for the craft as our current lot. Come back to us, Blackthorn. Remind Dravosht what a true master blacksmith looks like. <laughs> I'll even man those bellows of yours if it means we can work at the same forge again. That's a kind offer. Kinder than I deserve. And I wish I could accept, but I'm needed elsewhere. There's people who trust their lives to my steel, and I dare let them down. <sighs> Fair enough. But that doesn't mean I couldn't visit from time to time. Let's see if we can't rekindle this town's passion for the craft, shall we? I'd like that. Just be sure to tell Snotty to let me in the next time I come calling, yeah? <laughs> Knowing him, he'd let you in anyway. 
like Thor. The master smith turned outlaw, back in my good graces. I never thought I'd see the day. I'd say that went pretty well, wouldn't you? Even yeah, yeah, I yeah. Hoped. Sid, I've got something for you. Oh, fuck me, dude. <laughs> That's our reward? <laughs> a token of our lasting oh, gratitude. But I'm of a mind to make you a far grander Hit the blue gift. screen. <laughs> Designs <laughs> for a certain sword have been passed down from chief to chief for generations. Now, hold on, Sultan. There's a reason no one's made that blade in centuries. There's not been a craftsman equal to the task. I'll admit your cinders make impressive steel. And I've learned to own an edge Odin will be proud of. But the engravings on that thing are enough to make a jeweler cry. And they're not just for show, either. Have you forgotten what brought you back to Dravorst in the first place? Hmm? A certain ring? I knew I'd never surpass you with a hammer and tongs. So I turned my hand to a different kind of metalwork. Between the two of us. I'd say we're the equal of any master craftsman ever to have graced a forge. So is this like Ultima or whatever the best sword in the game's called? You know what? I think you might be right. Clive, you wouldn't mind if Sultan came back to the Idaway, would you? I'm guessing that's what we finally unlock. He's more than welcome. As long as he can keep our secret. And I'm right. guessing it's going to be Ouroboros Sultan, in some way. Get your tools. We've got a legend to forge. Since we've already got those other two Ouroboros things, and at least so far they seem to be the best of the best. Oh, surprisingly, no new missions there. Okay. I mean, I guess technically this one isn't over yet, so <laughs> once we finish this quest, it could. We got the seal, so I find it hard to believe there won't be quests to do in Dravaz. Come back. Tell me we've run out of happy nuts and all. Ah, the man himself. We were just about to make a start on that sword, I promised you. It's funny, but none of this would have been possible without your help. You remember Camille? We'll be using his level work for the grip. The steel, meanwhile, will be tempered in a fire, burning the cinders you charmed out of old Zoltan here. And that wet stone from the Outer Isles? That'll be what gives the blade its edge. And the final flourish will be my talented colleagues engraving. A team effort led by the greatest blacksmith alive. <laughs> now, now, save that talk to the things finished, yeah? Right. I'm ready if you are. To the bellows it is then. Well, bugger me. We actually did it. It's almost like a gun blade, just <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but... Oh, Ragnarok. Ragnarok. It's... quite something. I, uh... trust you'll take good care of it. Thank you. Both of you. So... Love how we didn't say yeah. The greatest like... <laughs> craftsman alive, then. <laughs> this... <laughs> nah. This was just following the footsteps of the greats of old. It'll take more than that to earn us our place in history. But we're up for the challenge. Here. A list of materials. Zoltan and I got talking on the long road back from Dravoist. We reckon with those items there. Ah, okay. So this was the practice for the best sword in the game. Worthy of a legendary outlaw like yourself. That's a weapon I'd like to see. You leave this list with me. 
I was hoping you'd say that. One legend at a time, eh, lads? Before you start on the next, who fancies raising a cup to friendship reforged? Good idea. No more drinking to forget my past. It's about time I had something to celebrate. <laughs> then tap the kegs! Vulcan's boys are on their way! Some of his voice lines sound like they weren't done in a proper, like, recording booth, man. Like, the quality of it just doesn't sound as good as the, the other ones. Oh. What? Goter Damarung? <laughs> okay. That might slay a god. Never mind, it's not... Ouroboros related. Unless that word is somehow related to... <laughs> Or Boris, which I suppose it could be. I don't know. Okay, so do we need to equip that new sword? Yes. Ragnarok. Oh, that's a pretty decent upgrade, too. Over Ice Brand. So what all do we need? Never fought me in Zulkman if it had. So will it be? Oh, it's an upgrade for Ragnarok. Okay. So we need another Orichalcum. We need two Dark Steel and a primitive battle horn. We have none of it. <laughs> nice. It. Okay. Fine. Did we get hunts yet? No, surprisingly. Hmm. Okay. Um, I mean, the hunts have to unlock sooner or later, man, if we're going to get the rest of those ingredients. Okay, so that's on the top part. At least it looks like it is. So we should be able to just go here and travel down. Hopefully. Is there any chance I just no nope. right. sneak past you guys, I was gonna say. <laughs> Big nope. Uh and yeah, I am gonna change my abilities back. Um We have enough to learn Giga Flare now. Go to gear and icons. We're gonna change you back to Phoenix. So these will stay the same. Flames of Rebirth doesn't need Mastered now, though. That'll save us some stuff. Uh, da, da, da. Flames of Rebirth. Reset. Yes. Learn it and upgrade it, though. We still want to do that, at least. We just don't need Master. Now, what does it cost to upgrade... So to master, we need another 6,000. Uh, Flames of Rebirth. Okay. We Gucci. Uh, how do we get... Let me go more to the south over here. I didn't downgrade Phoenix Shift, did I, when we were messing with it before? I don't think I did, but I should probably double check that. Hold on. Stay there for a moment. You're not staying there. I'm trying to see how far I can teleport, damn you. Phoenix Shift. No, okay, it's still maxed out. Good. Not that way, this way. Ah, there we go. Maybe where all the runes are, that would make sense. Considering we're here to find fallen shit. Orbs, spheres, whatever the hell it was called.
Is it you guys? It is, thankfully. And a bomb. Just a random bomb. Oh, bomb errant. Bigger bomb. Uh, I forgot this doesn't have the range I think it does. Is it going to hit? Eh, hit a few people at least. all of those that's all of them oh, well. I do wonder what we're gonna get for doing this as well because they're talking about it making the forge better but like if we've already unlocked the best weapon in the game how's it gonna actually make the forge any better One of these days, we should talk to Old Man Hippocrates, just to upgrade our book level again. Have you tried I imagine it's nothing but a achievement for maxing out his level. But speaking of, how's uh, how's good old Torgal doing on his level? How do we see it? I don't remember. Do we go here and click? No. Ah, there it is. He's getting there. He's almost maxed out. Oh, we can actually see, like, his abilities, too. That's cool. Alright, down to the dungeon. Got you your shit. You're gonna build us a better forge. See, I would have thought, like, the Better Forge would have been a requirement maybe for the sword we just got, Ragnarok, or for the new oh, one, maybe, but... The Enterprise. Ah, Sid. Wasn't expecting you back so soon. So, is it good news or bad? Good. I got your echoes. Good, thankfully. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's brilliant. Thanks a blimmin' million. I'll fit him to the smelter right away. Sounds more like you're breaking shit than you are making it better, my guy. May I present to you the Telemon Furnace in Badishi. She's a beauty. You saved my bacon again, Sid. And I ain't about to let your good deed go unrewarded. It's it's fine, really. My bag's uh, flexible enough already. Oh, don't say that. I'm sure I can make a few improvements to it yet. You could just buy me a bigger. How about that clasp? Looks a bit stiff. Reckon you could loosen it up and make some more room? So we can hold even more consumables. That's what we're getting. With a new alloy we've been working on. The Telemon furnace was just what we needed to perfect. It. Okay, I mean that's not bad. No. Metal, I'll see? take it. So it's lovely and strong, but it's also, well, stretchy. If you can believe it. Stretchy How do you make metal? a stretchy metal? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Clive. Well, if you insist. Ah, is the spirit. You'll love it. I promise. I love how you brought up the fact that we could just buy a bigger bag as well. Like, <laughs> so, what do you reckon? It's actually quite ingenious. Thank you, Owain. Shh, we mentioned it. You earned it, and I wanted to get some practice in using that metal anyway. 
Reckon we'll have all kinds of uses for it around the hideaway. Can't think of any right now, but <laughs> that's our job, isn't it? Oh. Dreaming up new ways to make life easier around here. Maybe even out there, too. One day, the whole world's gonna know about the inventions you've helped us put together. That bag of yours will be the first of many. You mark my words. They'll hardly believe their eyes, I'm sure. So what, another, like, two potions? Well, three potions, maybe? I don't know. Can't remember exactly what it was last time. Maximize, so no more inventory upgrades. Potions, another two, another single high potion, and each of the other stuff. All right, with two Ds. Uh, <laughs> okay. I can't remember when the next patron whisper thing opened up, but it's not lit up, so I'm assuming not yet. And if we do have enough renown, then oh well, it's not that big of a deal. Things back the way it was. Take that, you naughty Clive! To what do I owe the pleasure? I just wanted to see how the town's been faring since you brought everyone together. Uh, since we brought everyone together, all is absolutely wonderful. Conrad and Natalie's hands remain safely away from each other's throats and firmly at the helm. Our stores are full and the bandits still too disorganized to raid them. Just as the good Lady Jane and Lord Underhill intended. Are you a lord? Lubor's going to be one too. They're going to make him the Lord of Dalamil. Because of how he stopped all the grown-ups from fighting. It's the Mayor of Dalamil, dear child. And the vote hasn't taken place just yet. But if the people wish me to lead them, I shall. And my first act will be to build a school so that menaces <laughs> like you two learn not to interrupt your elders. Speaking of menaces, there may be a rather worrying one just over the horizon. May there indeed. I'm afraid the example Conrad and Natalie set in putting aside their differences in presenting a united front might have caught the bandits' attention. And to deal with them again? Might have elected to take a similar approach. Just say the word, dude. One we can go. A league of outlaws, and they grow more organized by the day. Isn't that us? Aren't we the league of outlaws? Last time, no matter how many of them there are, won't we, Lubor? Of course we will. If we continue to work together, we can overcome any challenge we choose to face. The longer we avoid facing this one more difficult it will be until the only way to overcome it might be to run for the hills our best hope surprise i didn't hear you screaming all the way up here noodle in the bud by finding those ne'er-do-wells who have yet to join the cause and ensuring that they never do perhaps a certain lord underhill might be willing to lend us his aid once more or just let me go deal with them, and it'll take half the time. <laughs> like, <laughs> thank you, my lord. Victor will. You didn't scream. You just jumped. I have him stationed. Surprised you didn't throw her across the room. <laughs> my scouts. Such an amenable soul. He reminds me of you. I'll go and speak with him. What's the difference between a lord and a man? A league of outlaws. Sounds like we have some competition. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like Clive, dude. <laughs> We're on the same wavelength. <laughs> Still in Dalamil, Victor. Ah, Sid. I thought you'd have returned to Kostnis by now. I did. Then I came back. I've developed something of a fondness for the place. And having worked so hard to see it saved from one fate, it would seem remiss to abandon it to another. A sentiment Master Lubor certainly isn't shy about exploiting. Hence my doing his bidding yet again. You're not the only one. 
What does he want you to do? He also my aid in putting down the bandits. And he said that you might be able to help me find them. Then you've come at just the right time. I was on my way to speak with Conrad about how to organize our forces. There are more camps in the vicinity than we can safely strike at once. But we must strike together, and we must strike soon at as many camps as we can. We can't give this League of theirs time to rally its forces. All right. Which camp shall I take? By the time y'all stop talking, they'll have the Just time they need. And cross the dunes. Leave it with me. Did you feel her get on the couch, the little creep? She's a cat. They're supposed to be good sneakers. That's what they do. They sneak and then they pounce. She's gonna get you, that's all. She's practicing. Those ne'er do wells want to band together. Bandit camp upriver from Dalamil. Should be easy enough. Can we avoid nope. Suppose not. And forward. Can we go up the rock? Yeah. There's probably nothing up here, but... Oh, there's a salamander. You know what? Fuck that salamander. Go around it. I don't... I don't feel the need to fight him. Come ye, come ye. Come ye bandits to my blade. Must be the camp victim mentioned. Come on, then, Toggle. Hey, surely there's going to be more of them that appear, right? Take his head off. I mean, you can try to take my head, but I think you're going to struggle with that a bit. Cunning man. <laughs> Doesn't seem too cunning to me, dude. <laughs> I better let Victor know. Sid, where are you? Ah, I see the bandits didn't pose you any trouble. No, but. That's not why you're here, is it? No. Something's happened. We need you back in Dalimil. What is it? The whole town's in uproar. They're saying that Lubor is a bearer. What? So what if he is, he dude? <laughs> After everything he's done for the town and shit? Be. Like... They let one of the bandits escape. And his escape route took him right through Dalimil. Some of the children spotted him, and he was about to silence them. And when Lubor felled him with a bolt of magic... Maybe he had a crystal. crystal. Ah, he was hidden crystal. It is if he's a bearer and has been hiding it all these years, which is what people are saying. If he has, well, I wouldn't blame him. No man is branded by choice. Still, all those people see is a man who's lied to them all his life. One who was made a leader of himself when the world believed he should have been a slave. Fuck. I don't know where we go from here, but I know one thing. Lubor needs all the friends he can get right now. You're right. Who the fuck cares, man? <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't care if he's a goddamn Brandon.
and now everyone knows. Or bear or whatever, not branded. <laughs> I made it a habit to keep a crystal close at hand for just such an occasion. And when that occasion arose, I forgot to reach for it. <laughs> well, it was bound to come out sooner or later. We're sorry, Lubo. We tried to keep running, but we just couldn't anymore. There's nothing to be sorry for. I rather enjoyed playing the hero for once. All that matters to me is that you two are safe. Look at him talking to his betters like it's nothing. All lies I'll wager, just like the ones he fed us all these years. Once people make up their minds, it's hard to change them. We need to do something, and quickly. Convince the people not to let their prejudices blind them. Convince them that nothing has changed. That their enemy lies outside these walls, not within them. You're right. We should speak to everyone. I'm glad you agree. Everyone? That I sounds like a lot. How about like three people? I'm a downright born and bred. They listen to me. You head to the tavern. Make Conrad and Natalie remember who Lubor really is. They know that Lubor and I are friends. I might not make for the most impartial of interlocutors. Lord Underhill of Randalar's League of Merchants, however, is a trusted and impartial mediator of note. I'll do what I can. Lubor, stay here with the children. I can't promise anything, but we'll try. And that is all I can ask of you. All right, guys. Where is he? Why, you the Why do they always have to make such a fuss? You all along that he was playing us for fools, and we fell for. Forgive me for disturbing you, but could I have a moment of your time? Hmm. I've seen your face before. As have I, Lord Underhill, wasn't it, of the League of Merchants? <sighs> That's right. I wanted to speak to you about Lubor. The rumors that he's a bearer. All true, I'm afraid. He'll never be mayor now. Not if I have anything to do with it. But what of his wares? Bearer or no, his steel is highly valued throughout the Republic. In this, at least, he's done the town a service. Might that not earn him a little leniency? Leniency? He pretended to be one of us when he was laughing behind our backs all the while. I'm sorry, my lord, but he lied to us. He lied to you. He cannot be trusted. So what do you propose? Will you drive him from his home? Close his forge? Perhaps. That is a question for the people of Dalamil. And they will thank you not to get involved. Townsfolk have made their minds up. There was nothing I could do. Nor I. Conrad and Natalie refused to consider anything but their own wounded pride. You never know. Once their anger is cooled, they might see things differently. For now, we should report back to Lubor. All right. I mean, he's a great craftsman. He could just come to the hideaway. <laughs> I assume this Throwing it out there is an option. There's still hope. But... But, perhaps not in this lifetime, I think it's fair to say. You mustn't think like that, Lubor. Give them time. They'll come around. We'll talk some sense into them in the end. You'll see. No, you won't. And your efforts would be better spent elsewhere. But Lubo. Rosina would often tell me that steel does not lie, that a blade is a reflection of the smith who forged it. To yourself be true. That was her point. 
Rather an ironic one when you consider that her life was taken with a blade of her own making. But I do not doubt that she was always true to herself and what she believed in right to the end. And so must I be. I must do what I know to be right, no matter what others might think of me. And now, I know what that is. I must embrace my new role of villain so that the people of Dalamil have something to unite against. For only united can they hope to stand against the threat that awaits them. I'll need to make a suitably dramatic exit, of course. Don't go, Nubor. You're the only one who was ever kind to us. We'll be all alone. Again. Trust me, little ones. It is for the best that I go. Not only for the Now town, who's going to build a school to keep you. these menaces in check? How could it possibly be for the best? These children need you. The least you can do is give the townspeople a chance to change their minds. They would not take it, Victor. It's over. Over, you say? And so just like that, you're going to throw this town and these children to the wolves? I thought you were better than this. But it seems you had me fooled as well. Victor. Forget it. Do what you will. You sure you're making the right choice, Lubo? Of those available to me, I believe it's the best one. Yes. Ah, but where are my manners? Here. A reward for clearing out that bandit camp. Right then. I have packing to do. If there's anything I can do. Anything. I'll bear it in mind. Thank you. Cool. Uh, I have nothing. <laughs> I have nothing. We got magic dash and meteorite. A little bit of money. Awesome. Thank you, Blue Boar. Uh, where's the next one at? I'm just <laughs> gonna ignore all of that. It's a Bucklod and Tabor. Worth it? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> so worth it. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll be back. God damn it. <laughs> they have to end at some point. That's what I keep telling myself, man. At some point, they have to end, and then the game will be over. The worst part is, it's not even that I want the game to be over, right? Because, like, the game itself is good. I, I really enjoy it. I just don't enjoy the other stuff. <laughs> the fluff. It's like Naruto, right? The anime. The show itself isn't too bad, but it's filled full of so much fluff that it's just impossible to enjoy. For me, at least. Obviously, there's a ton of people that do, but I can't do it. Lord Rosfield, is there aught the Undying might assist you with this You know day? who he reminds me of? Perhaps. The Faceless Man. My brother said that your order was From Game of Thrones. To uncover Ultima's That's who he reminds me of. I've Have been trying to figure out who it was. Since last we spoke. Little and less, I regret to report. I see. Be assured, however, that we will not rest until the truth is known. Even now, our archaeologians scour ruins in every corner of the realm for traces of Ultima's touch. Fallen ruins, I take it. Dating back as far as Phoenix Gate. Indeed. Ultima's thralls are oft sighted among the remnants of the fallen civilization, as if protecting the secrets concealed within. Secrets we'd see unearthed. Should our methods be of interest, my lord, mayhap it would please you to observe some of our number at work. Would that be possible? Of course. A survey has been conducted not far from here. Perchance you are familiar with Kretov, a small hamlet built around a fallen airship. I was due to visit my colleagues there to collect their preliminary findings, but if you would consent to do so in my stead, I'm sure that they would be honored to relate any discoveries they have made to you directly. Yeah, why not? All right. I'll go and meet with them. Would be nice to figure they out a little bit more about Ultima, to be honest. I'm sure. Might I suggest you take the road through Titan's Wake? 
It will lead you straight to the village after but a short walk. Thank you. I will. I wish you a safe journey, my lord. May the Firebird's flames burn ever in your heart. The Firebird's flames? <laughs> really? What happened to Phoenix, dude? Firebird just sounds a little derogatory. Where the fuck is it? Down here? Ah, okay, I gotta go this way, though. So here, and then instantly to the left, yep. And then just follow this wall around. They definitely spent more time working on Dalmechia than the other places. I'm not sure it was really for the best. chest up there or anything? No. Pickup of some sort, but I've gotten to the point I don't care about those. Thankfully. It's for the best, honestly. Hmm. Nah. Not worth exploring over there. Can we maybe not deal with you? Thank goodness. Ooh. Where's the cave go? Oh, it's just another way around. Likely gonna be a hunt or two around here somewhere at some point. Tacos? Tacos sound really good. Noodle and I are gonna have tacos on our vacation here in a week and a half. I'm super excited for them, to be honest. Both the vacation and the tacos. Ah, uh, that's overkill. That's gonna use diamond dust, but like, we really don't need to do all that. It's taken everything I got to not go up there to that dead end, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm so tempted to do it. But like, there's not gonna be anything there, unless new hunts have suddenly been unlocked. Which it doesn't look like there have been. There's not going to be anything up there worth it. At most, we'll get a piece of equipment that we're probably not going to use anyways. Hello, birds. Ooh, and some Akashic. Right outside of town. That's a good sign. see anything over there, so not going. Oh, you getting homemade tacos, Nate, or did you uh, buy some from like Taco Bell or something? I am uh, particularly partial to homemade tacos, but not going to ick somebody else's yum, though. If you went to that Taco Bell stuff. Homemade? There you go, dude. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, no. I'm getting hungry. I'm super excited for my pork fried rice tonight. You'll pay for this. As soon as we're done here, that's what I'm going to have to go do. Start working on that. There may still be survivors. Deeper in this case also. Yeah, Taco Bell prices have gone up a lot after the past handful of years, haven't they? 
Although most fast food has, to be honest. Wendy's still has that really good deal. The four for four, four for five, etc. But other than that, like... Whatever that thing is. Oh, the gold leader. one, that's cool. Kill. Ow, ow. Didn't appreciate that, my guy. You know what? You're probably close enough. Well, maybe not, but... Oh, damn it. My flame is not up yet. Oh, damn it. And more people are showing up. You bastard. Of course, I don't have any of my AoEs ready. Uh, I have this one. Ow. Get the little guys over here. I just want to get them out of the way. Long hot showers are the best, man. Normally, I would agree with you, but with as hot as it's been outside recently, I've been enjoying some cool showers. I'm not going to lie. Although, thankfully, the heat wave has finally broken. Like, it was like 60 degrees last night, which was really nice. Big fan of that. Holy shit! <laughs> I did not realize how much damage we were taking. Oh, that was... That was rough. That's fair, yeah, dude. <laughs> like... Someone was knocking on the door and I knocked a bunch of shit over and ran upstairs and I'm like, what? Okay. <laughs> Are they still down there? Like... Did I get like a message from anybody? Is anybody stopping over? I don't see anything. Ah, uh, hold on a sec, guys. Be right back. Ah. Chocobo mode! Hold on, I want this to activate. Chocobo stomp level four? Let's go, dude. That's the monster that ate the wallet? I mean, what? You're surprised? <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Oh, here we are. One wallet. <laughs> Too bad Joke Bow's in here to see that, yeah. Inside? Whoa! That's way more than I have. <laughs> Little kid was rich, apparently. Wow! You really got it back! Amazing! Ugh, it's so sticky. Stop complaining. At least you got it back. Zach, were you okay? No problem at all. Piece of cake. Thanks a lot, mister. Call me Zach. If you need more help, just ask. You don't need to steal anymore. Hmm. Thanks, but you've got bigger money problems than me. What a little dick. Well, maybe so. Uh. But hey, just you wait. Aerith and I, we're gonna make a fortune. Huh? We're launching Operation Midgar Full of Flowers, Wallet Full of Money. <laughs> yes, Midgar Full of Flowers, and Wallet Full of Money. Aerith, for real? Yeah, for real. That's why, if you're in trouble, we can help you. All right. I'll come talk to you. Okay, mister. Aerith, thanks. I think it's just the animations, because... Did you mean it? 
I'm pretty sure they reused all the old animations from the PSP version. Just updated the models. And surprise, surprise, there's nobody here. <laughs> Noodle's ridiculous. Anyways, back to our Should side question. Was it a cat? <laughs> These must be I don't think the cats can knock on the doors. I don't know, man. You have our thanks, There's stranger. been some weird people lately. They're also campaigning Ooh, yeah. right now for a vote that's coming up, so... So it could have been one of them. Uh, Who me, knows, man? I did not recognize you. You are Lord Rosfield, are you not? But there was we nobody there when I went outside. I, like, even stepped outside decide. to check, so... When the echoes appeared... Our brothers here occupied their attentions. Thanks to them, and to you, we were, for a mercy, able to see our duty to its conclusion. Oh, there's a chest. You call that a mercy? Your brothers might still be alive if you put their safety before your duty. Surely this survey wasn't worth dying for. We are charged with uncovering Ultima's origins. A duty of the highest import as I'm sure you will agree. And you think your dead brothers would agree with you too? I know they would. They gave their lives for the cause, an honor to which all undying aspire. Now, they fanatics the got it. Of your presence, Lord Marquis. Cyril told me of your work here, and I agree to collect your findings in his stead. I see. That is most kind. Pray, take them then, with our humble thanks. May the Firebird's flame burn ever in your heart, as it does in ours. I don't like answering the door, but like, you never know when it's something important. Like, what if it was a delivery or something like that, you know? It's a little late for a delivery, but it's possible. I suppose I'd better get this back to Cyril. Now, where was that chest? You didn't tell me you had a delivery? I don't know when it's coming, but my uh, study... Uh, whatever stuff <laughs> is supposed to be coming. Study notes, study whatever. Yeah. I mean, yeah. This is <laughs> I didn't have a whole lot of choice in it, but yeah. Alright. I don't think there's going to be anything else in this dead town here. So, teleport, maybe. Tabor? No, yes. Excuse me? There we go. And in here. Hello, sir. Got your notes. Can you tell us some shit? Ah, oh, you are returned, my lord. Collected your colleagues' preliminary findings. Here, take them. My thanks. I shall study them and inform you forthwith if I discover aught that might aid you in your fight against Ultima. Cyril, your survey party suffered several losses in Kratov. Losses which could have been avoided. Had the others not chosen to complete their work, instead of saving their friends, were these your orders? No. This was their choice. Every undying devotes his life to the service of the Phoenix. It is our sole duty. And should we die in discharging it, so be it. Even when death is avoidable. My lord... Do the other icons not a point over which have crazy fun. fanatics like this that they can just command Before around? <laughs> like served the Phoenix for countless generations. And your opinion of our methods, however earnest, is not like to change them. We live to serve the Phoenix. Our very order exists for that purpose. And that purpose alone. Cyril. I know that you and your brethren answer only to Joshua, but allow me to offer you a word of advice. It does not further the cause of the Phoenix 
to have his loyal followers surrender their lives without good reason. Provide your survey parties with an escort, that they might live to do their duty for years to come. Think not only of how you can serve the Phoenix, but how Joshua would want you to serve him. Please. For all our sakes. I thank you for your advice, my lord. If you will permit me to respond, our faith in his grace, Joshua Rossfield, is absolute. And we of the Undying will do what we believe is right to fulfill our duty unto him. But all he's asking is for you to send an escort. The <laughs> like, how is that? You understand what it means to do <laughs> like, why is that such a bad thing? I do. Why give up, you know, four or five of your lives instead of just taking one or two escorts it with you? I hope that we may continue to do our duty together. It wasn't late. Why well, didn't expect it to be Leighton? <laughs> Why would it be your sister? The Breath of Ice. Ice Age. Thanks, I guess. Bye. Now, you're just calling everyone baby back beaches, aren't you? You know the type of person that runs around to calling everybody a baby back beach? I don't think I even got to say it. I think you know. As far as I know, I haven't gotten any messages or anything. I haven't seen any. About anybody stopping over, so. Could have been a delivery, could have been a creep, could have been the campaigning people, who knows. Ah, uh, Clive, you'll be pleased to know that the negotiations are progressing well. That is good news. <laughs> it's not a night in the stars. Yes. I mean, you're uh, not wrong, Brad but and like. Randala has just sent word that the contract should be signed very soon. And they do I do deliveries like until like nine at night. Is it's either eight or nine where they stop doing deliveries. So it could have been a delivery. A quick favor, could you? Though normally they leave like a note on the door or whatever. I didn't see one. More wild beasts. Nothing like that. I just need you to go over to the caravans and ask El how long we have until the bearers arrive. Find out exactly how much faster I need to get all these supplies moved. All right. I'll go and ask. Thanks, Clive. I owe you one. I know I say this a lot, but why us? Like, <laughs> you're right here. The caravan, we can literally see the caravan. It's right there. You could just shout over to there and ask. Like, <laughs> it's 50 yards from where you're standing. Bro, <laughs> like... Don't blame yourself, El. Someone this who wanted to get fault. noodle. Oh, Not God. Yours. Love you, weirdo. No, but no buts about it, all right? Is something wrong? Ronnie came to give me a message from our intermediary. The talks with the Republican army have fallen through. <laughs> I would miss you if you got gotten. That's true. Consortium instead. Though prices have fallen of late... We deliberately offered above the going rate to try and deter other bidders. But the consortium offered double what we did, and the army jumped at the chance. You had no opportunity to make a counteroffer? None at all. And we were so close. El, What's happened? I, I saw Vonny leaving. She didn't look happy. And with good reason. I think Rue would say so that I would have said something if they came to kidnap you. Steal me away from you finally? Are, are you wanting but to go? I thought we were the only ones the fist was speaking Do to we need to talk? How did the consortium even find out about this? It's not so surprising. <laughs> they have ears all over the Republic. <laughs> this isn't over. The consortium <laughs> will have to sell these bearers eventually. And at the price they paid, buyers will be few and far between. I'm going to Randalar myself. Alone? You sure that's wise? Are you offering to be Do we care? <laughs> How kind. Meet me at the checkpoint near Jesus the capital Christ. gates. I'll send an owl ahead and request a meeting. You go to cash lock, Theo, and get everything ready. We've waited far too long as it is. Even if I fail to free these bearers, there will be others. Someone needs to prepare the place and keep any prowling beasts at bay. Oh, and that's me, is it? 
Well, it looks like I'm following orders till she gets back from... from meeting the Silver Peak Consortium. Who've been doing their best to undermine our scheme. She'll never join them after this, surely. No, she said it herself. She still has plans for Cashlock, even if this one falls through. She means to stay with us, then. I can't say I'm not happy to hear it, but... Is this what she really wants? You have to trust her. You're right. It's what she wants now. And if Hell's off fighting for the cause, I should do my part, too. So I bid you farewell and safe travels, my friend. I'll gather my men and leave for Cashlock. We'll make sure the place is well stocked and defended. You go to Randala and see if you can stop my sister biting the consortium's heads off. If she won't consider her prospects, someone has to. I'll do my best. Well, if you're done talking, maybe Randala now we can then. get over there. <laughs> is there a quicker way? No, there's not. Better not keep Eloise waiting. Gotta rock our ass down there, I guess. What I Get the birdies. Like the... Ah, it looks pretty hot out here, dude. And you're kind of in the middle of the desert. Probably have, like, a nice cool meal, maybe? Sounds better. Each their own, though, I suppose. If you like dining a heat stroke, that's your own... Whatever. <laughs> Choice. I mean, I've thought about it. <laughs> Smirk. I have wondered what shipping service they're going to use for the study materials, though. I don't know if they're using, like, USPS, UPS, FedEx... They didn't specify. I don't even know for sure if they've sent it out yet. They said they would, but they didn't say, like, I'll send it out on this date and time. Like, you know, <laughs> I found it rude to ask, so. I hope I didn't keep you waiting. Did you arrange to speak with the consortium? Here they are now. You wish to consult with me? I did. It's about the bearers you recently purchased from the Fist. We had all but finished making arrangements to buy them ourselves. And then you stepped into the fray. You misunderstand. The Consortium had an interest in purchasing them from the very first. It was only our regard for you that kept us from bidding. But your hesitancy in accepting our offer to you suggested that the regard was not mutual. And so we resumed our business. I did not hesitate. I am simply not inclined to make such decisions without first... The cats are fine. <laughs> like <laughs> but what is done is done. Come then. How much do you want for them? Alas, you are too late yet again. We rarely take on such unconventional merchandise without a purchaser in mind. Scared and puppy, the they're fine, I promise. Who is your buyer? A trader from across the water. A most demanding fellow, if it's any consolation. He insisted the bearers be fed, dressed, even given their own bunks for the voyage over. That's what you get when you deal with continental types. I wouldn't know. Oh yes, the culture on the continent is quite different to ours. They pay good money for bearers not fit for the knacker's yard, and treat them like kings. But as long as they pay... That does sound unusual. No matter then. If they've already left our shores, there's little that can be done. Allow me to withdraw my interest. And with it, my interest in joining your organization. My associates will be sorry to hear that. So, when he says across the water, does he mean Walud? Did Barnabas fucking buy some bears and treat them like kings? I don't see him treating anybody particularly well. I'm sorry you weren't able to save them. As am I. But I only have myself to blame. He was right, you see. The Silver Peak Consortium did intend to buy those bearers before I did. Their representative hinted at a possible purchase when he came to recruit me. I feigned interest in joining them in the hope he might be encouraged to tell me more. And he did just that. 
As soon as he left, I sent my own offer to Randall R. So you never... No. I entertained the Consortium's proposal solely so I could learn more about those bearers. But I was a fool to think they wouldn't find out. I knew exactly who I was dealing with. You tried. Your shells and the sauce I grease did. of the tacos so good. What kind? And like hard shells or soft shells? True, the bearers are to be well treated. Which is something, at least. I almost never warm up my soft they shells, man. More. It's very rare I do. I want it so and I never eat hot shells, <laughs> to be honest, but <laughs> Eloise. Soft corn. Oh, uh, corn tortillas. Yeah, those definitely need attack. cooked, man. They taste a gross otherwise. I'm not a fan of corn, soft head. corn tortillas, to be honest. Noodles okay with them, but I'm bleh. But the odds are against them. They need help and fast. Theo. I'll go on ahead. Again, to each their own, of course. But not for I'll me. Gather some not for me. Join you there. Just make sure I would says. try them, though. Especially cooked in some... Burger grease. <laughs> Hit your shin off the table too, Jesus love. Hold on, Theo. Maybe you should have just like Coming. calmly walked away instead of just straight running away. <laughs> oh. Uh, I guess it's about the same. Are you okay, Noodle? Fight or flight? Maybe next time, fight. I'm in flight. <laughs> oh, God. Flight or flight? <laughs> uh, I doubt you had anything to actually worry about. Like, they're great, especially when cooked right. So I know there's plenty of people out there that like them, but I, I prefer my flour tortillas for sure. Um, homemade flour tortillas, too, are especially delicious, but. Each their own, though, of course. Where's Theodore? Up river! He led the Your dragon tried to get him in coworkers' car. She knows I love you. The whole area is flooded with ether. Uh, it's just probably just some crackhead that thought your coworker was somebody else. Like, Toggle with me. She's fine. The girl who tried to get into her car didn't like cause any trouble or anything. She just legitimately thought she was someone else, and obviously a bit weird. Like, you know, <laughs> how you try to get in someone's car without no making sure you know who it is. Of course, I say this to the guy who has gotten in multiple people's cars before. That weren't his, Nate. Need a metal bat to bash heads. <laughs> That's assault with a deadly weapon, or battery with a deadly weapon, whatever. I think it's fine. Like you said, I think she thought you were her friends, you two, and she was high. <laughs> so, <laughs> At least this is just because I'm constantly in my own little world and easily confused. I, we can't say it's not the same truth about that person though, you know? That's all I'm saying. It's fine. It's definitely weird, but it is what it is. Everything's fine. Hello, friends. If you're not sleepy anymore, you'll work on your blankie some more. Good idea, love. It's one of the reasons you miss having your custom paint job. <laughs> you know, I don't have a custom paint job on any of the cards I've ever owned. And I've never gotten in somebody else's cars. 
That's all I'm saying. I have mistaken another person's car for mine before, but once I got close enough to, you know, be like right next to it, I was like, oh no, that's not my car. I need to find Theodore before that dragon does. And we found the dragon. Looks like it's found me. Or yeah, I was gonna say. Or it found us well. rather. Oh, you have the same move set as uh the big boy we fought. You should be easy then. Oh shit, <laughs> I say as I take a, a hit needlessly. Coffee left. <laughs> now you're dancing. God, you're bipolar. I should have done that a moment later. The pile drive. Oh, good. We're already at Dragon Dance. The, the move I still don't understand. What? How are we in the path of that? I could have swore we were outside it. Oh, that's a new move. I don't remember seeing the the big dragon do the uh nope. Oh god. Do the tail spin thing before. Would have been good practice for that big dude. Diamond Dust is very good. <laughs> uh. I do have to agree. It staggers amazingly, and at least one time it maxed out their stagger multiplier. I'm guessing because the actual stagger hit before the move was finished, which was pretty cool. Because that just meant the entire chain ended up being maxed out. Clive? Theodore, you had me worried for... Ah, oh, fuck me, dude. Why did you come here? I think it might be a little too late for that. There are or oh no, there's only so much ether a man can take. And that Drake 
just wouldn't let me leave. You have my thanks, Sid, for finishing what I could not. For keeping Elle's dream. Once they go Akashic, is there no way to, like, remove the ether from them? I suppose not. Not that anyone's really tried, either. Do we have to fight him now? He's still in there. Is it not possible to turn him back? Drag him out of the ether flood? Lock him in a cell for some number of years? He's just going to off himself, ain't he? Of my sister. Vito. Wait. Goodbye. Figured as much. No! Neo! Neo! He's a good guy. A dummy, like Choco said, but a good guy. It's just been a really shitty day for Eloise, dude. <laughs> Lost her chance to save the bears as she wanted to. Brother offed himself after turning Akashic. Thank you, Clive. I think I'll be all right now. That was true bravery. It's hanging out right next to a cliff, really the best place to be right now. Like all things considered. Put others' well-being before. I don't know, man. And now he's gone. Because I sent him to that place against his will. It wasn't against his will. He was ready to do whatever it took to show you he could stand on his own. So that you would finally be free to live your own life. To live my own life? He never could come to terms with the choice I made. What exactly happened? He once told me Theo was the first bearer you ever helped. We grew up in Canva. We were born to one of the great trading houses. And I was chosen to inherit the family business. I had my father's head for figures, you see. Theo... Did not. While I studied the art of commerce, he played at soldiers instead. A late bloomer. In more ways than one. For unlike most bearers, it wasn't until his 15th summer that his powers awakened. My parents tried to drive him out of the house and into the care of the constables. But before they could, I took him into mine. Theo told me something else. He clearly admired your devotion to the cause of freeing others like him from slavery. But he said you deserved a better life than this. He wanted to free you from what he called your bonds, just as you freed him from his. I would be lying if I said I had not wondered from time to time how much easier my life might have been if I had allowed Theo to be taken and devoted myself to the family business instead. 
but... <laughs> I have never regretted the decision I made. Being with my brother meant more to me than tradition or reputation. I only had to look at him to remind myself of that night and the choice I made and the fact that I would make the same choice again in a heartbeat. He was never a burden. How could he even think that? If anything, I was the one who weighed him down. You weren't Eloise. He said to himself that he had always been grateful to you for saving him. And that he wanted to repay you by letting you live the life you were denied. Neither you nor Theo weighed each other down. You loved one another. You did whatever was necessary to continue living your lives together. And you always would have. You're right. All I ever wanted. All I ever did. It was so we could be together. Oh, Theo. Why did you have to... <laughs> Again, should we be so close to the cliff? <laughs> Maybe just a step back is in order, my guy. I know Theo wanted me to move on. But I'm staying here at the Crimson Caravans to continue our work. We can make a difference here. We can help people. Save them. I need nothing more from life than that. So I'll carry on doing what we do. Ensuring that goods, people, bearers get where they need to be. Bringing smiles to people's faces just like we always have. And to Theo's. Wherever he is. This is the life I have chosen. The life I will always choose. I've made a choice of my own. To continue helping you however I can. Whenever you need it. Thank you, Clive. Let's go on together then. For Theodore. I mean, at least that one was a little heartfelt. I'll give him that much. 2005. Was that a good year? I don't remember. All right, I think that's finally everything. Sadly, it's all the time we have for the night because I still got to cook dinner and get ready for game night and shit. But I don't see any more side quests. There's no hunts. I think we're finally done. <laughs> I'm going to go get whatever new renown thing we have, and then we're going to call it. New missive has been delivered to Cloud's chambers. Cool. Oh, yeah, the signpost. We just got the message about that. Hello, Desiree. Oh, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. For now, yeah, for now. <laughs> Rings of the Swift Shot. What does that do? All yours. All done. A swift shot. Here. Lowers charge time for charge magic by 0. 0.2 seconds. 0. 0.2 seconds, for real? No, fuck that, dude. And no new hunts, right? I'm pretty sure it would tell us if there was, but I'm just amazed that no more have popped up yet. Alright. I guess that's it then. You run in D&D? I'm down to run D&D if that's what everyone wants to do, yes. Yep, yep, yep. I am good for that. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys. I appreciate you. I need to save before I forget. Do that now. There we go save what are we level 43 man fuck all right have a good night guys thank you again for coming and hanging out while we played more final fantasy 16 i think we're getting close to the end probably one more week i'm guessing i don't know man it's hard to say but until next time be kind to each other Bye bye y'all oh god yes 
flower wagon. With a wagon to carry lots of flowers, oh, the way she talks, really? <laughs> I don't have a problem with her voice actor.